This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Chin, are we rolling? Okay. The, the Miller Men is like a, a weird thing where we just go like full caveman, you know, yeah. board up in the cave and like don't talk to nobody. So if I don't read, sometimes months will go by and I'll text them, hey, you doing good? And he'll just go, yeah. That's and we're it? good for another couple months. That's yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. And so it's awkward. And I know what that means. Not awkward. But I know you, exactly you, what you it means. you don't call them. Like you, you guys don't talk? Yeah. Every once in a while. I mean, every, like. But he's also not his therapist. Who's opening up to their dad like that? Well, no, but I, I talk to my dad about I like, talk the to world my, and shit, you know, politics and. Yeah. I don't know. We I don't catch talk. up with my dad, but I'm not yeah. like, man, well, me men, and Joanna really. No, no. no Dude, if I want to get him fired up, I just call and be like, yo, hey, what, what's going on with Trump? And then I get a <laughs> 45 minute dissertation yeah, on some, how the Democrats are ruining this motherfucker. And I'm like, all right, well, okay. Well, I love your dad. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Hey, can you send me the red hat in the mail? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> That's the whole. No. You're from originally where? North Carolina. That's it. Well, you know, like my family is from the mountains of Tennessee. And then, oh, really? Yeah. So. Oh, that's the Irish side of you. Well, Scotch Irish, buddy. Yeah. There's a there's a difference. Scotch Irish. They're the Highlanders. Buddy. Fighting in their blood. No, the no. See, that's where you're wrong. Okay. Okay. Go back to year zero. Yeah. Okay. The Romans were building a wall through england killing everybody doing whatever they got to scotland and they were like let's just build a wall okay, these guys are crazy they're, they're crazy pissing berserkers. on us. they're throwing rocks down the yeah so fast forward then you get down to braveheart you know what i'm saying yep. 1200 ad and they're doing their thing and they're rebelling against the and they're like man these mother are crazy so what do they do they send a bunch of those big guys from scotland over to Ireland to put down their rebellious ass, and then they intermingle, right? Yeah. Fast forward a little bit more. There's some shit going on in America, and the new world. And then they sent all those guys to go win the independence for America. So the Scots Irish built this damn country. Gene, yeah. good? One yeah. bloody ready? man we're, we're at a time. Wrong. All right, you ready to introduce the, our, our guest, B? Oh, what? Give us, wait, a, wait, us a wait, wait, we're no. doing intro? Wait a minute. I thought we were already rolling. <laughs> You We've been rolling, yeah. Proper intro, you just want to roll let's, right into let's, that? Let's, on, all right, let's, hey, do, let's, do, a proper, let's do, right, let's do, do a proper let's episode. Let's do a proper intro. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. you do it. Yeah. Oh, you want me to introduce the guest? I'll, I'll introduce The him. man, the myth, the legend, a guy I've known for a hot second. And trained He's with? looking extra, juicy, extra juicy. healthy and juicy. Thick. It's May Ham Miller. Oh, shit. I broke the couch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. That was a I had really to make good. an entrance. That was, that was good, a legit dude. entrance. And I two twenty, by the way, four one seventy. I've joined the thick boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you look, yeah. dude, it looks good on you. Healthy, though. it does Healthy. look good on you. Yeah, quit Wait, drinking. You, you know what I mean? Quit drinking. Quit drinking. Yeah, and, and uh, you and started eating. Quit drinking for how, how long? Are we talking? Uh, God, months and months. I, I'm not good. doing the whole like count the oh, you know, they give me chips and whatnot. But yeah, that's another thing. Good for you. Yeah, you're sober. Sober, yeah. Looked, you know what the hardest thing was to quit smoking the mountain of weed that I smoked. Yep. And it's so weird because the world is not as pretty as I remember it. <laughs> it was prettier <laughs> on weed, but oh, the constant like just a uh, fucking smoking all the time. Yeah. That can't be good though. <sighs> Joe Rogan said it was alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Lied. I think he lied to me well, on that one. Well, well <laughs> it, it dulls you a little bit, doesn't it? Not just dull. No, no. Listen, the world was just a rosy ass place all the time. Even though, you know what I mean? It's like the kitchen is on fire, but I'm in the living room. Who gives a fuck? Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, good, <laughs> it's not, it's until the couch was on fire, I was like, uh, I'm not getting out well, of here. Well, but. it's a motivation killer. I, I would say, would no, you no, no, no. Yeah. Motivation, it would make me motivated, but to dumb shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, the well, alcohol, it, it, alcohol too. Listen, if you put all these substances in your body, and I'm living proof that if you do that, you're fucking up. Like, yeah. you're but gonna, you know what it is, ma'am? It's also you're an extremist, buddy. That's exactly. That's what. That's it, weird. You took that word out of my head. You, you know? and I are the same. I, like I can't just. Someone's like, try this. It says take one pill. I'm taking ten. Mm. If they go, dude, check this out. I just don't check it out. I'm all in. So I can't just dabble in things. So if you're going to steer me down a road, whether it's weed, alcohol, cars, Adderall. fish, Adderall, oh, whatever God. it is, don't get me started dude, on I'm, that one. I, I'm, da I'm, I'm. You better be careful because I'm, I'm going down in the deep lane, uh, but it, and that's how most fighters are. Exactly. I think a big reason for your success was like your devotion and extremist. That's a great word for it. That's the word I've been using because what 
whatever I do, I do it all the way and go hard. And if, in it, the if, if someone doesn't direct you in the right path, it goes down a, a bad path. So even when you were going, you and I have been boys forever. You've always had my back. That's uh, when I text you, I'm like, you and I have always been good. When you're going through your shit, I was just in my head and we have mutual friends, Jimmy, all the guys. I was like, dude, you guys are getting this wrong. All he needs is to be set on the right path and he, it's on. Well, here's you the just got to direct them the right direction. That's great. And it sounds good on. on paper. But, you know, once, like, uh, my managers left and, like, I didn't have, like, a home gym anymore because the place closed down. Which was what gym? Rain. And, or back in yep. the day, Mark Munoz. That, that's where we met. Once Rain. I lost all my, structure. like, community and Maybe. structure. But who the fuck's going to tell Mayhem what to do? Right. It, it'd be tough like, even it was when he had impossible. Stuff. Like, yeah. there's nobody... Who could, you know, and I, I always think about this. Oh, man, if uh, somebody could have got, you know, if, the, if my manager didn't just dis evaporate, that was the, that was kind of my, like, rock guy. That, like, I listened to him. I go, hey, man, what, what the, what the, and I had cut out everybody else from my life uh, as far as advisors go. Because he was your manager for how long? For years. For, for years. You know, for many years. And so, I, I you know, it's not his fault. No. But I, I nobody was there to tell me hey dude you're fucking up but it, but is this uh, when we when you're talking about you're messing up is this during like the ultimate fighter like with the biz being thing is it after no, that it's right around the same time it's like uh, you know you get super famous and you fall into these crazy crowds of yes. like people and you guys know you guys are like cool kids you know so you guys know that there's all these weird hanger honors but you also lose that too so you, you can and then when they go you're real. sad and missing them like yeah. i thought you guys were my friends no, there's that or if you listen to the wrong people which i've been you know guilty of you listen to the wrong people hey you should do this or you should do this and you realize they don't have your best interest in hand then you go right. down that road and now i don't even talk to some of these people i'm like oh what was i thinking well, why thing, would i do that what about doctors like weird like doctors nowadays are some weird dope dealers they're just like sure yeah come back you know you could pay them 200 bucks they fill you up with all kinds of crazy pills and whatnot. yeah it's a whole nother. and then you come back next month and they give you some more and Damn. they're like and it's it that's, I don't know. I'm getting you know, all up. fired up. I'll drug you up. That's so, how it is, bro. So, like so for you, for you, it's like you lose the management. The the rain thing explodes, which I was part of, and then you're kind of you're on your own, buddy. And, and we can relate to the similar thing here. Similar thing here in the comedy space. Like it implodes. Everyone goes their separate ways. And thank what are you God, about, you Brian. lose your community. You know, you lose your, when you lose your community. You're just like, oh, it's a, I'm it's, on my own. It's fucked up. It's, yeah. it's a, you can get really depressed, sad, anxious, mm. all that thing without an. You talking about Rogan rolling up the tent and fucking well, taking it to the just, damn. They, they just COVID, after, COVID, Rogan, just it, it, it was like COVID, and the, the scene shut down, and then everyone moves, and then it's, it's just it's just a different scene. It's not that we're not friends with everybody. We're good. We're just not around each other anymore. Yeah. Mm, but I but know. but. I part of it also is it's interesting like you get older you get older and I know a lot more about this than you guys but you get older and you just change and your perspective changes and you part of getting older if you're doing your job is you look back and you go what the fuck were you doing like we all do that I we all do it maybe some people don't but I think in a lot well, they of ways do it and it's too late yeah but if you're a passionate person and you want a lot sometimes you just go and sometimes the world is overwhelming and sometimes you're just grasping at straws and sometimes you're young and you have the world that you're, you're doing everything. And, and that's going to come with, you're going to fuck up. Ma'am, for, for, for you, was there a moment where you're like, all right, enough's enough. Like, yeah. I, yeah. What Hell was it? Yeah, but what it was, was it? all right, I'll tell you what it was. The HOA threw me out because I pissed on the president's, um, allegedly on his rug. Allegedly. That's a fr allegedly, that's frowned upon. And it. frowned upon in the HOA community. And I just went on a tear. And a funny thing happened where I just like wandered. I was like, okay, enough's enough. And I tried to go to a rehab. The rehab intake closed at seven o'clock, I think. And I showed up at like 7.30 and the doors were locked. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So I wandered around and buddy, you know, I, I went to prison for a couple of years, but I went down to skid row for about 16 minutes and i was never more nervous in my life than that moment i saw what this is what's next buddy 
if you keep fucking oh, up wow. like this. So, you know, everybody has and their you weird went down rock. there. Why? Went down there because the rehab was up on the top of this hill and the path, and I was carrying a big ass piece of luggage, like a fucking Isaac Manrahi lug, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'll just wander down this hill and find somewhere to get an Uber. Man, I was like, Uber, yeah. Uber, because I, bro, I was being hunted. I was being hunted like a man, like a wildebeest. Yeah, they would have had their hands full. Yeah. Yeah. And you saw your potential future. Buddy, I saw that this is the way, you know, and I like, I like to be, you know, kind of a, a guiding voice. I, I see all these guys on Instagrams and whatever, like uh, being this kind of motivational speaker stuff. And it's weird because <clears throat> how do you motivate somebody to stop being insane? Kind of, you know, yeah. because th this cycle of addiction, the kind of drinking and going crazy. And, you know, if you if you have all these fun people around you encouraging it, it's super hard until you hit like a thing like that where you're like, yo, I'm being hunted right now. Right. Yeah. And like, this is dark. Did you, did you ever, when you were in the midst of your insanity, did you, could you step outside and see yourself? Like, did, did you? Every once in a while, yeah. I would but in other words, like, maybe a better question was, were you always saying, all right, today I'm going to fuck up, but tomorrow I'm going to be better? No, no, see, I wish that it was like that. I wish I had that um, kind of thing where, you know, I, I never had that, like, um, I'm at the liquor store, like, oh, please don't, please don't buy a liquor. Nah, it no. was like once I was rolling, I was rolling, and then people that love me were going, hey, man, stop, stop. And I, in my head, it, it's weird. It's like that's what the disease does to you. It, like, flips it on you like they have the problem yeah. they have the problem and i didn't get that i because didn't you, because to you you were just having a good time and because mind. you feel like you are yeah you're it, just that, having that's fun a, it's there's something with the dopamine receptors where your you know uh the excitement level keeps staying up and even the bad stuff you know what i mean waking up in the middle of a bar fight you know like what the hell like oh like and then laughing like this is that was hilarious nah yeah. not hilarious and then you gotta you know go do time about it you know and and it, it's like there's a disconnect from the punishment you know because you have all this time to sober up and blah, 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 and there's a di so it makes it very like you have to grow as a person and can stitch those things together mm. if you don't connect that and you don't hit your you know they, they always talk about hitting your bottom or whatever if you don't finally you you can preach to someone all the time hey man you need to stop you need to stop you need to stop but the reality of the situation is until you turn that corner and decide okay this is what i'm going to do then it doesn't matter it doesn't matter was there you, any, who helped you was there anyone that like you can give credit to that kind of helped mean, you along the way there's a tremendous a amount team? of people yeah a girl helped me out so much um and got me through rehab talking to her all the time uh talking to her um you know, it, it kind of guided me in in this direction. Like, um, cause people were trying, they were trying to like guide me in this, this way. And if I didn't have this back story of being talked to over and over again about this, it would have never like sunk in. Mm. But finally, like I said, I turned this corner and it was, it, you know, it was like smooth sailing after that. It's like, oh, okay. Like this, this is what, your life has been in ruined, like in shambles over and over again. And you know, th that's kind of why I'm here is like to, there were incidents like l weird stuff where I would see little stuff on Instagram or podcasts or something and, and somebody would say something that would click and then it was like uh, some straws, you know, and finally it breaks the camel's back. Yeah. Like it just, they, they kept piling on each other and I go, oh, and I put that away, but you know what I mean? My, my desire to go insane would, was, was like, would override those straws, but finally, man, the hump just went in burning. When you say your desire to go insane, it was this desire to go start drinking again? Well, bud, like, <clears throat> just like this excitement. 
you know, I, I had yeah, to. You're an adrenaline junkie, buddy. Like, buddy. buddy. Yeah, like, cause, cause I'm I mean, telling you, it's so fun to like get in some trouble. Yeah. Like, it, you know, and it's so stupid, but his nickname's Mayhem. Yeah, but yeah. I know. And you listen, didn't that fed into it. That fed into it. I mean, yeah, like, you're hey, when everybody would recognize, yo, it's Mayhem. Yeah, it's ready for over. Mayhem. Yeah, but the part of the drinks come out, we go insane. Yeah. you know, and everybody was into it, but then I'm like caught holding the bag at the end, like, ah. Yeah. Oh. Well, you realize that the the price that's an illusion literally it's the devil it's literally like the illusion where the devil's going come on over here just one drink buddy take a bite of the apple well you know and i don't want to be a, like mr buzzkill guy that's like oh you guys can never drink yeah da, da, da. but it, it's not it's just maybe for me maybe that guy i have my i friend, think i am I'm, my for friend, me it doesn't work my friend no. is a guy who can never drink mm. and there's nothing wrong with that and and i think that commitment of just saying i Who's can that, never Bert drink <laughs> no, 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 no! It's a buddy you wouldn't know, but oh. but I, I, we had a come to Jesus moment actually. He Bert and, should me, stop me drinking because he started drinking think again. Think so? Yeah. At his age, yeah. Oh man, because I love him. That's how I, take. I want him to stay healthy. It's kind of his thing, though. Right? I know that's a thing. You're the like you're the you're the party guy. You're Van Wilder. Like you're the Florida State number one party well, guy but, in the but world. Bert, Bert's you gotta take your shirt off. Bert's a different kind of drinker in terms of Bert is a jolly, fun drinker who drinks. Oh, so am one. I for the you're, first yeah, like couple weeks, yeah, and then like, what's up? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. I have a magic power when I drink, man. I can get anybody, man, woman, child, to punch me in the face. Yeah, I yeah. just talk shit and talk shit yeah. until somebody's like blink, and I'm like, ha ha ha, and then you know, and then it's a problem. Then it's, it's a man. trouble. Yeah, yeah and that's man. that's right. So obviously, I'm going to say you can. When you say never, you start going into scarcity mode. But but I would say what you're doing right. Better say what you're doing right now is. You're get. This is the path to getting to your best self. There you go. And, and I'm I'm serious. And I think that there's so much gold waiting on that end. But it's I keep so hearing this hell. from people that I'm starting to believe. It's it. fucking true. <laughs> yeah. Because anything beyond, if you go back, it's it's hell. Mm. And if you go this way, it's who you're supposed to be. Uh, let's take a little break. Let's take a little break from you know? chatting about the mayhem. Yes. Because get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers who deposit $5 or more can get a no-sweat bet up to $1,000 back in bonus bets. Mm. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Bet on my Denver Nuggets are doing the dang thing. Use the code FIGHTER. New customers can get a no-sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code FIGHTER. The crown is yours. Okay, guys. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or go ahead and text HOPE-NY-467-369. If you're in Connecticut, though, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Now it's void in Ontario. One no sweat bet per new customer issued as one bonus bet based on the amount of initial losing bet. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash promos for deposit, wagering, and eligibility restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Look, man, you guys want a free $40 bottle of... <laughs> I, I'm on the buzzies. You want a free $40? Oh, I'm on the buzzies. The five daily buzz gummies, all right? You mean free $40 bottle of five daily buzz gummies? I, all you got to uh, do is pay for shipping and handling? Yep, yep. Come yep. on, what are you, Santa Claus? Look, if you want to if you, if you chill, whatever it is, you're talking about two to five milligrams of THC. That's enough for you to feel it. Uh, THC. No, I said THC. Um, I, I can't talk today, but either way, they're you called took daily too many gummies, gummies, gummies dude. because this is what I do. I take it right buzz. before bed. It helps yeah. me chill, calm down my anxiety. It helps with all that. Five is fully legal and ships to all 50 states. Third party lab tested grown in the U S of a, and you get yours free by visiting five CBD.com slash fighter. Mm. I like the Good daily flavors, buzz sour. Man. They have tasty. great flavors. Sour oh, ones, that's man. the problem. They're so tasty. You want to eat a bunch of them, but you probably shouldn't. Yep. All right. Uh, all five CBD products are CGMP and U.S. Hemp Authority certified, so you know you're getting the very best. Go to 5CBD.com slash fighter, and you get your $40 bottle for free. You just got to pay shipping and handling. That's 5CBD.com slash fighter, F-I-V-E-C-B-D.com slash fighter. 
Oh, man, if you want auto parts. Yeah, let's take a break and talk about some auto parts, man, because I spent a lot of time at O'Reilly. Yes. I've been at O'Reilly a bunch trying to get my lightning right. Should be done this week, but O'Reilly's helped me out with spark plugs. They helped me out with my air intake system. Break like fix. Quick service. Dude, it's been a lot, and the TV just shut off. That's all right, dude, because unlike our TV, uh, O'Reilly's going to keep your freaking car on the road. They've got thousands of parts, accessories in stock, either in-store or online, so you don't have to worry about if you're in a jam. The team at O'Reilly Auto Parts can test your battery for free for in free? or out of your car. Mm-hmm. If you need it replaced, they'll help you find just the right battery for your vehicle. If they don't have it, they order it, comes the next day. I've had and that by the happen. way, if you're a do-it-yourselfer or you need a specialty tool to finish the job, stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Ask about their loaner tool program. They will loan you tools. Simply pay a refundable deposit and borrow the right tool, then get your deposit back when it's returned. Try also, that on. you need your windshield wipers replaced. Break, uh, you break a, a light fix or a quick service to help you find the right part or point you to the nearest local repair shop for help. Whatever you need, they got you covered, man. The professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts are your one-stop shop for all things auto. Do it yourself, and you can find why... You need it in store or online. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today or visit them at O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. That's O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. Yep. Oh, oh, O'Reilly. Yeah, it's, and, there's so and, much, and there's so much you love for you, well. man. I know you pretty damn well, Jason. It's and so and there's so much love for you, man. Yeah, that, man. That's why. And do you have so many people rooting yes. for you? I know. Because the Jason, wow. I, the Jason I, I that I know, the yeah. Jason I spend time with, the Jason I fucking know, is a really fucking charismatic, smart, great person. Aww, and God it's true, you. though, dude. And and I know that's hard to believe sometimes when people say that about ourselves. And and so when I when I would hear about you going and doing these crazy shit, you know, you were not in your right mind. Yeah. And, and I always said, and they're like, "Yo, Jason is mayhem." I don't care about any of that. He just needs to get on the right path, and it's game on. Yeah. If you just Aww. point him the right direction, because we we know you. And we know how good of a person you are. Oh. That's what it is, brother. Well, when, damn, when you man. look I didn't back, I know this is going to be a love fest. I know, sorry, man. You know, oh, no, we love so you. We wouldn't have you on. We wouldn't have you on. I mean, that's why yeah. he and I were talking about that. It's like you, we, you have history with us, and we saw the best side of you. Yeah, yeah. And and that is the side of you. Do you um, do you ever look back on your on your fighting days? Yeah, of course. I mean, every once in a while, someone will bring it up here and there, and I'm like, oh yeah. And what's oh, your yeah. what's your perspective on it? Because just before you answer, my, like mine, when I first got into comedy podcasting, I want nothing to do with it. No, no, that's uh, that's in the past. I do this now, and then over probably five years, and I was like, no, man, you did some cool shit. This, well, no, this, but you have to like have some time, like, yes, to separate it yes. because you know when you're still like active fighter, like there's you know everyone's gonna dismiss this win or like yes. you know undercut this and they kind of and then now would like taking a step back from it and being able to look at it clearly like oh man i you know i did some tremendous stuff like Legend. you're you're in yeah but when you're <laughs> when it's like close all you see like if you're a good almost. fighter you yeah. see only the negative stuff you only see where you messed up you only watch the mistakes but you know why because you know. when you got involved the goal is to be a world champion Mm. So when I got involved, it was like world champion or bust. Mm. So you don't achieve that. You I feel know. like a loser. You're right. NFL yeah. goal was to be, you know, uh, Tom Brady. When you don't achieve that, you feel like a loser. Yeah. Then as you mature, you get older. They're like, holy you're, shit, like, I did damn, some good no, stuff. No, that was yeah. dope. That yeah. was re- you should be proud, man. Especially the stuff you pulled off is nuts, dude. Yeah. Nuts. When you look it was, back on it. It was good. Yeah, man. I had a good career. I, I really... Uh, I mean, you went to distance with GSP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a fun one. That was like the first show. That was the first UFC on TV. <laughs> like that was the weirdest, wow. you know, back on TV yeah. from when they canceled it, yeah. you know? And, uh, yeah, that, that was a good one. Uh, man, you know, it's just like, um, thinking about fighting. It, it's so strange because now I'm like that guy at the gym, like the older guy who's like, you know, some of the kids are like, uh, pie plate eyes like oh my god it's mayhem and other ones are like who's this old guy telling me what to do like and, and i get that i well, love that Connor? guy You're i like, love right. that guy because yeah. i was that kid yeah. i was like i don't man i'm i'm tough i don't yeah i don't listen yeah i'm doing i know how to, i'm trying my you know and then it, as i would gain trust for the coach then i would soften up but i think there needs to be a a little bit of uh, that a, irreverence a jerk in you yeah you, you know you have to be like to be a good fighter you have to be a solo wolf mm-hmm. like a very mean yep. you have to have this and then as time goes by you know the the kids trust in you mm. and then they realize so you're in a gym bad. right now you're, you're working out. I, I have you know i work at a few gyms like uh i'm very blessed to like you know a, a lot of people have recognized my talent 
at coaching the guys. You have a lot and, of knowledge, and, my man. Yeah, I know. Oh, and I, oh, I, it comes I, I studied. I, I'm jujitsu. I studied with kings, so Muay Thai. I like Verdun. I, yeah, and, and yeah, Fabricio is awesome. The, the, um, you know, the knowledge that I accumulated. It, it, I always thought I was dumb, but I, what I realized was no, no. I just specked in. To instead of going to regular college, I went to martial arts college. Correct. My whole life, and and learned all these different techniques, and would go to each individual gym and like focus on uh, area of study. Very similar to somebody who, you know, like a, a surgeon who, you know, does eyeballs. I think most fighters feel that way. A lot of fighters are like, oh, I hear fighters say, oh, I'm stupid, or that guy's an engineer. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Talk to him who, if you're a black belt, it's like talk that engineer, who, whether it's chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, talk to him about jujitsu. He feels stupid. Right. Mm -hmm. You decide to get your master's in jujitsu yes. and choking people out. He decided to go down that route. Not an easy it's not thing. That you're not an easy thing to Yeah, but it's not that you're stupid. You just yeah. put your efforts into this, he put his efforts into that. Correct. So if people get intimidated by that stuff. I never did. I was yeah. always like, no, I put my efforts in here. If yeah. I would put it in there, I'd be just. Of I course. could I could learn that. I mean, MMA is uh, like watching what you guys did. It's just so difficult to be good. Mayhem was also the first one where he like crossed over into pulp culture. Like, there's so many guys now. And everyone wants to give credit to all these other guys, but Mayhem was the first one. Bully beatdown was Buddy. massive. I taught the kids. Massive. I, I didn't. I didn't realize what I was doing at the time. I was just like taking the job. I was fighting in Japan, making a bunch of money, and I was loving it. And then they came at me with this idea that I like almost passed up. Like I was like, ah, nah. And then they explained, no, 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 you, you could be funny. Cause I, th the way they pitched it was like a serious show. And I was like, buddy, that sounds stupid. Yes, that's like, no, 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 you get to be funny. It's you get to, and I was like, oh, oh okay. Did you ever get nervous when you had to fight those guys? Did, nah, they, know, nah. did they know they were going to have to fight you? <laughs> nah, I you'd yeah. be like this. Ah, no, that, was, that was the, uh, that I remember watching you just <laughs> choke them out. You'd just be like, hee, hee, hee. Yeah, was, you could never make that show today. No. Today they're not gonna make that show. So, oh, it's bullying, blah blah blah. What do you mean? No, the know. bully gets I, I know, I know. Think about it. <laughs> I bet you Sean Strickland beat up that kid who asked for it and he's getting so much flack. I bet you I, that, that was a weird thing to me though. Like I don't well, know, Sean I think could have handled it different. Like, how though? Listen, when I was when I was hosting bully beatdown, okay, we had different fighters come beat up the bully. I would tell the guys, <laughs> hey man, I know, exactly. I would, long, yes. so I would I mean, tell I would tell the fighters, hey man, look, like cook them. Like, how about <laughs> don't don't just take the guy out and obliterate yeah, him. Like we need we gotta wear match twenty two minutes here, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like don't knock him out in thirty him. seconds. Yeah, carry yeah. him. And I would say, and you know, and body shots, but let's just get their body. I think Sean could have just like body shot that guy into infinity. Or leg kicks. Or no, I thought they were boxing, no. Was it know. just? It, oh, is it just boxing? I think they were just so boxing, it's just boxing. I yeah, I agree. He could have done some body shots. He could have. My, my only caveat with that is <laughs> my only caveat with to defend Sean on that is this major YouTuber went in there, asked for it. Yeah. Right. Sean was like, "Dude," and it's Sean Strickland. He's like, "If you're gonna do this, I'm gonna light your ass you up." You know what the, 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 the bet was? The kid right? goes, it? "Bring it on." Yeah. But Wait, said, what's the bet? He said, "You have." He goes, um, "He said something like, you can't hit minutes. me back.'" No, no, no. He said, "I think it was like." He has 30 seconds to knock him out. That's what it was. I can last 30 seconds with you. Oh, it, no, it was like a minute. He, he, a, a, minute, minute. a minute? Yeah. yeah. And that's a long credit, time. He took a beating. Yeah, he he wore that beating like an Armani suit. He man, did. I'm that's telling a, that's he, a long he time. He asked for it. Yeah. Like, that's, the, that's the difference. Like He asked for it. Yeah. I, you know, he could have handled it different, but like I used to do the same thing. I was like, uh, anyone, anywhere, at any time, let's do it. You know what I mean? And. <laughs> It got me in a lot of trouble, <laughs> but you know, if I guess if I put on YouTube, it would have been a whole different story. Now, yeah, yeah. Uh, nowadays, yeah, now, yeah. now's a different. Story. But I was just getting brawls all the time with anybody. Hey. I have now retired from those street fights. I um, I love yeah. that story. Somebody started telling me, and then you finished it when you were in Miami <laughs> dancing, and he's dancing with this girl, <laughs> and, and this guy, this guy, just this, this huge Guido dude, oh. like steroid guy, goes. He said something. He goes like this to Mayhem. He goes, "Hey, dude, get the fuck out of here." No, no, and, he's. Like, you disrespected me. Yeah, he just and, like, and then Mayhem goes, "Fuck off!" And he starts, no, I I said to him, "I don't even know who you are, bro." Like, and he like, but I knew what yeah, was yeah. going on. But I was, I don't even know who you You're are. With this the, guy, girl. the guy, the guy who told me this. No, no, I wasn't even dancing with her. We were across the room, and I was like looking at her. I was like busting out the Rampage Jackson, like giving the 
the eyes like this doing this weird, you know what I mean? Sexual innuendo dance. So he like, felt by the way, vibe. looking like a like kind of a rangy tennis pro. I was, like, like I was, was just... fighting at 185 and I was walking around at like 187. Yeah, like I was wild. like just a, yeah. Like, like baggy clothes. So I look completely gangly, so, so weird, the, so wearing guy, like weird club clothes. So the guy shiny came shirt. over. Oh yeah, the, the guy oh, came oh, over. Wait, can I tell you? Yeah. The, the way the story was told me from other people was like mayhem's outside and 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 it's one like steroid guy out of another and he's going oi <laughs> boom and he's just hit elbow on him and he said there was a pile of bodies all these macho tan dudes with their shirts open just like hey, 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 just beat the and he said there was just literally like it was like video game just bodies of these guys all over and it mayhem kept going Oi! Yeah, yeah. Oi! I, I was just first getting into Muay Thai, so I, I like I like to do the sound. Hoi! Hoi! Muay Thai! Like I was doing, yeah. Just fucking wrecking. But the best part of that dance. was like that happened on the dance floor, and then the DJ came out and was like, "There's a fight on the dance floor. There's a fight on the dance floor." And I had already finished the guy and ran out. I was like, "Hey, there's a fight on the dance floor!" <laughs> and like I thought it was gonna be over, but I turned around and it was like brave heart situation and the bouncer fighting my friends the those guys the meatheads fighting oh man yeah, it was I, a nightmare i feel like you're such Dropping a character you're such yeah. a character there's there's a platform now or uh, avenue now like you look at what rampage is doing rampage is one of the funniest guys in the fucking world he's we've had him on here all the time what is he doing now he's hosting that podcast Jackson uh Jackson. 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 he's so he's great. doing that he's, and he's doing his fighting but you're, you're the same like you and rampage are cut from the same cloth like i feel like there's a huge avenue for you in the same lane if you want it everybody's saying oh do a podcast do a podcast i say uh how do how do i do that and then i, I know a guy you got 1600 damn microphones <laughs> jesus christ i know a guy but do i can i cuss on this podcast yeah. fuck yeah okay because i have been yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's there's there is I think with your personality and you, personality, you your old fight course. stories, all that. Yeah. Oh man, a lot all of the people you know, a lot of shenanigans have gone on. I know oh, all the people. Think about all the people you know from the old school days. That and it may, yeah, people. It's like the longer I'm staying straight, everyone's like uh, uh, coalescing. Like everyone's like, hey, and hitting me up on Instagrams and and all yeah, that. And I'm like, oh, geez, this is because uh, people love you and you're entertaining. I know, and I, enough combo. time has gone by where I haven't done anything bad, where everyone's cool with me now. They trust you. They yeah, trust, yeah, you yeah, they trust yeah, me yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also think people understand what happens when people are in the throes of drugs and alcohol, mm. and 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 mental illness. Frankly, when you when you when you Buddy, are listen, yeah. I, I was talking to a guy. He was, he was telling me that he was in psychosis. I said, buddy. I like try to stay in a psychosis right. as much as possible. Right. Like I really, and, and I have like a weird theory on the whole thing because, you know, fighting and whatnot. And I, in my family, this is a thing. I, when would it be good for a human being to be hyper vigilant, not need to sleep at all, not need to eat anything? That's war, bro. It's like a vestigial yes, organ. Yes. Special forces. Like, yes. Yeah, buddy. Like, and by the uh, way, getting hit in the head for a long time too, that you may have had some, like, because your brain heals over time. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine also coming out of the fight game like that, you you know, you don't walk away from that when you're young. You're, 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 you're adding to brain trauma alcohol drugs it's mm. not going to be a, not sleeping not eating mm. it's not going to work yeah, and, out and whenever anything happens with a fighter whatever it is people go oh ct i'm like ah that's, that's the a cop out easy it's a cop out ct yeah. elemental p yeah, yeah it's, it's like all right out. yeah i'm like no right. it, well i think you can heal you know what i mean some yes. fish oil and whatnot yeah. you know uh, but <clears throat> there's definitely um i think a big part of it because I, I got a buddy who's on the raiders he's like uh you know on the line and he it, me and him talking to each other everybody was terrified because you get used to living in this like fast moment fast moment from you know you get hit and you're like you have to like live like microsecond to microsecond and me and him talking real fast to each other mm -hmm. was terrifying everybody because they thought we we're about to fight but we're not we're just like geared high mm -hmm. like yeah. you you're, you get used to that you get used to living like where your brain thinks quick got to think quick or you're gonna die yes you know so it def definitely, um, you know, there's there's an adjustment to to uh, this type of activity, if you if you will. Well, I, I love it. I love the look on you, and I and I I think it's going to just keep getting better. You think so? I I don't I think hope so. so. Jason, Jason, I'm living Jason, in the hood right now, bro. Jason, I don't think. But so. Coinman, what's so. up? The barrio, I homie. I know. So. Yeah. I fucking know. So. And uh, yeah. how, how are you and your family now? No, nah, we're we're everyone's so relieved because like. 
Dude, I was living like uh, about to die for a long time. Yeah. Like I was like, uh, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's just dangerous. Thing. The cops will shoot you. Somebody else will shoot you. You know what I mean? Or, or you accidentally kill somebody. You know, and, and like to the point where like I was getting those street fights. I would only body shot guys. Only body shots because I was like, ah, don't knock them out. You don't have the liability. So yeah. I would just cut the guys into infinity like oh you know what i mean uh solar plexus shots for everybody <laughs> suck. i'm dishing them out i know i, I know. don't get in the, the guy the guy these but kids try to jump me trying to fight you buddy i man listen uh, you're going you're looking for looking it. for if fights. you're looking for I'm it you'll find yeah. it i'm like you the know i told you it. i get fired up i start tack, 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 yeah. and you know so, so a typical day now mayhem is what you, oh, you live man. in uh as you said the hood i live in a hood uh, you know it's all right it's not that bad you're doing your penance right now there's nothing exactly it's exactly it's I'm like, come back hey, come back season you bro. have to do your penance baba and you have to it's and and it, and and it's fine it's just where you are right now it it's is just yeah. part of the journey no it's fine journey. i'm not stressed about it i you know, i grew up in the hood yeah. like you know what i mean to me it's no stress but it's a different kind of hood like i have to like pay attention to what kind of mexican talk they're talking right now because this gringo right here ain't supposed to you know yeah. be in there so like, they think i'm a cop i'm like oh man no you didn't <laughs> like you know get out. like or they think i'm selling uh meth they're like hey uh so uh what's up man you got you got any and i'm like what no yeah. and they're like i and they're like ah, oh, mm, okay okay and then they like saunter Suspect off of it yeah are, are you are you, by, are you living by yourself up there no nah. yeah yeah got some bros <laughs> <laughs> too many bros <laughs> you know but roomies. it's all good like you like you said some penance i don't know you know I, i'm saying hail mary's all day yeah. uh, only, but, only but you know thank god you know thank god that uh because i'm just in such a good place that this doesn't even bother me you know did you was there a moment like do, do you keep yourself for people who are wrestling with this kind of stuff is there is there something you how do you talk to yourself every day is there something you read every day you movies? know movies what do you watch what do you <laughs> i'm blessed to have the support of some people yeah. that uh are have been through similar struggles and so i get the text thread yeah man it's it's you know it what helps, i mean right? that that helps so mm -hmm. but you cannot get that until you do the work yourself and it, like even just you gotta like, earn it going to going to a rehab i i i went to rich guy rehab one time and just sailed through it like bah, bah, i got this bah, i got this i went to hood rehab and was like oh dude like Real it gets deal. worse from here so you better you know buckle down and like beast take this seriously front of the class doing every assignment you know taking it serious like being like i'm not gonna go back to this life yeah you know and remind yourself i <laughs> i think that for anybody going through that that just the um, it's like taking that red pill you know the symbolic step of going to it, even if you don't want to. Cause I, I didn't want to at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I was like, I got this. I still had that mentality of I got this, but, but keeping in a controlled environment where you can't go out and get drunk or you can't go out and take pills or, or smoke, whatever you want to, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you do. If you have, you get kind of a base of getting used to, they call sober feet. Like you get used to kind of doing stuff like where you're not, getting high or getting you know and yeah. it gives you kind of a base of um operations in your brain that you don't have to do that because when you get in that <clears throat> zone of you know every day i woke up and smoke a joint every day <clears throat> for 10 years that, that was your drug of that, choice that's i Marijuana? guess if you want to call it and it's weird to be like oh you know uh and especially nowadays where they're they're talking about like it's all illegal, so it kind of makes it easier. But when you're like wired, like I am, yeah, that thing it's becomes. Trouble. It's like you know, smoke weed, go train. That and now I just took that part out, and it, my life has gotten better, like continuously. Because now I can remember what's going on. Yeah, I can like I, every, I remember everybody. I like I said, people are a little bit uglier than I remember. Yeah, <laughs> because I was just like. Ah. Blah, 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 you're whatever. also older so you, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, and like older. the city the, the the streets of la i remember they were like 
kind of cloudy and now i see every piece of graffiti and every i'm like oh yeah. man and it kind of motivates me like I, I would like to make this city better like i want to kind of bring this up there's something wrong here and i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna try mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna try to use the little bit of power i have in this world to to bring it all up like, there's no way to um leave it how it is and and the system you know i i know i'm word vomiting at you guys but i have like a lot of things to say and this is my first time back in the real world I'm, I'm good, you know what i mean and i really appreciate I'm you guys I, I really here. appreciate you guys um but um i mean in order to do that you gotta choke out newsom <sighs> do i yeah like that's yeah. the thing he doesn't though. need any more trouble <laughs> i don't know don't know. take my advice no, but, man that'd, that'd be that, where that, i'd start yeah, god forbid yeah man, that guy looks like american psycho though i bet yeah. he has some bodies in his basement oh huh? uh, yeah no wait Great but this hair. guy is bad i thought this guy was good he was seemed pretty smart i don't know he's, he's smart. smart i don't know you he's guys smart. Good now hair. you got me talking politics good hair good trouble. looking but wait keep going oh please. yeah um have you have you had many uh either current fighters or former fighters reach out like has the when you were going through the thick of it did well, the UFC I wish, reach out? man i wish the freaking no what do you mean it gets quiet no it gets quiet yeah i mean and i don't even blame anybody like i don't blame anybody for like <laughs> you know what i mean putting their drawbridge up because to be honest uh if you just read the internet about me you know and it was partially it was clicks like they they made every incident that I was involved TMZ, with everybody. sound like yeah, yeah TMZ was like here's mayhem again and I said okay cool I get it I get it. that's their game but you know now I'm like turn a corner and trying to like build something new and uh, there's nothing I can do about all those crazy articles in the past nothing you uh, yeah and nothing I can do so I'm just gonna keep putting good on top of it and hopefully you know it, it well the, the ones that w were never gonna fuck with you they're just it doesn't matter what you do. So but we don't no, have but to worry oh, about yeah, back to the that. rest of the people are they're gonna jump on they're like, yeah, he's doing the work and they jump on board. Yeah. That's all you need. The, the, I don't blame people because the the stuff that I didn't even read it, but those little bits that trickled back to oh, me yeah. made me go, Oh my god, I don't even want to hang out with me. Well the press yeah. will do that. They need juicy stuff to I get know. clicks. Yeah. Because you know, if you look at like uh so Vice they're out of business bankrupt yeah. bankruptcy, BuzzFeed out of business. Uh, I think even Reddit is having major problems. Really? Yes. So it's just going to be like nobody, nobody's making money. Walmart, the, the Amazon, and like yeah, but there's no there's no money right. off that sensationalizing Triller is, stuff. Is it, is it Triller? Triller, the yeah. Fight League? No, um, it's another one. Anyway, there are all these different kind of like entities, these media entities, and th th just people are not interested. First of all, they don't trust the media. Not Which apocalypse army shit. are you guys joining? I'm thinking about signing up with Disney. That's a good question. I'm just going to fly to well, Rogan's Disney, and hopefully. I'm saying they're going to have the coolest weaponry. Like, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Like some X-Men well, type. Think, I think the, the I, I don't know how you fight AI 1000. That's, that's. What that's do you mean? The, I graciously accept my robot overlords. There you go. Yeah. Now, now you, or you mesh with the robots. Buddy, you mesh I'm neural linking my chip right now, you buddy. Go. What are you talking about? That's, I'm Googling didn't, didn't everything didn't we're talking about. they successfully put in the first neural link in? Yes. And they're like, uh, and he moved the mouse with his brain. Elon like, Musk. That's it? Yeah, well. It's, uh, I'd be pissed if I got out of that the, the, operation. The, the thing about technology right now is it's all moving exponentially. Of course. It, it's, not, it's not like, well, we need five years. The difference between now and five years could be something insane because, and the worry, of course, is you have AI building AI. So when you have AI building AI that then builds AI. Buddy, I well, the AI building AI is an issue, but the worry is that the AI technology in the wrong hands. Yeah. That's what you should wor worry about yeah. first. Man, I came out of prison. And I walked into 7-Eleven and got my Slurpee and walked out and there was a guy laying on the sidewalk wearing an Oculus Rift playing video games. I was Jesus. like, fuck, I live in the future now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what, so what? I'm just thinking everybody would be neural linked all on you porn. We're headed day. that we're headed that we direction, are. especially if we don't nip it in. What the was ass. your day like in prison? What was it day? Oh my day? goodness. Did buddy. anybody test you in there either? Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Did you have to link up? <laughs> Did you? Oh yeah. <laughs> it was jail. Oh, yeah. You weren't in. But the no. But mostly people were very respectful, and it's yeah. like a whole different. I Did mean, you have to join it? This is a crew? whole podcast but, on the cell. But, but you were in jail, not in. No, I'm white. Not in. <laughs> I know. There's a white crew. But, but did you yeah. have to stay? Pen but or see, did you, white. But uh, where you stay? Damn, jail? I can't believe I'm talking politics right now. Uh, There's a white crew. Well, see, yeah, but the thing about um, white gangs is that <laughs> you can. Um, go man to man like uh the other like mexicans and uh
black guys they they don't like uh go one on it's never one it's a game they don't go one on one to settle disputes but white boys can so i explained that to the guys that and then you know and then word got around oh that's mayhem and then yeah. no more one on one no i only had a no nah, you'd be surprised guys are crazy yeah. yeah especially when they get all geeked up and whatnot you know and i was just trying to do my time you know and when I, you were in there once they once they understood that that i wasn't part like i'm not doing yeah, you're not this. trying to be i'm not, I'm not trying there. to be this is not my life like i want to get past first night in there you're laying your head down on the pillow did you was it like andy dufresne like god damn Buddy, they're gonna shake me in a tattoo shop so these guys were all geeked up doing tattoos all night. Like, oh, hey, ma'am, you're awake. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're tattooing. Jail? Yes. Damn. Because you lived where all the dudes were getting ink done. Yeah, no, there's like the tattoo artists were in there. They make like a tattoo gun out of like, I don't know, a walk. It's amazing. Something. The engineering's like, amazing. In listen, if there's, there's so many guys in there that if they would have put their mind to engineering or something like that, they wouldn't be there well that guy the guy who just got out after 45 years michael thompson i think his name is do you ever see him he uh he was the in the aryan brotherhood and he was huge like 240 pounds and just the, the enforcer but he basically um he got his phd in prison i believe like a legit phd oh yeah that, see that's the thing is that there's like some guys who are there and, and i worked my way up out of that out of the uh terrible like the dungeons yeah like i worked just... my way up out of dungeons and eventually became a dog trainer oh wow you did yeah really it was awesome He's all, yeah. it was like the most beautiful part of my experience no was shit. to work with dogs and you know because they train it for disabled vets and whatnot wow. and so all day long i'm teaching dogs like a uh, side you know what i mean so you like learn cool. heal you learn yeah you learn dogs i learned a lot of stuff yeah i learned a lot of stuff about dog, dog training no no but um you know it, it was that was the most beautiful part wow. of my experience. I also uh, worked in the gym. I was the uh, gym coordinator, and uh, I had to run the President's Day tournament, uh, <laughs> basketball tournament. <laughs> Buddy, that right there, bud. That, I, I want to see. Oh, my goodness. How, like, how long were you in there? Uh, two years. Did yeah, you train? A long time. You, I trained, train? yeah. I, like, I once, when I was working at the gym, uh, I got to hit the bag every day. Wow. I got to do the stair. They had a stair stepper. I, I, I built like, <laughs> I built like 16 different like exercise machines for all the yards. Like wow. that was my job. Like wow. all day long, like, da -da 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 -da, like a slave labor. So you were in, together you were in jail. Equipment. You were in pen. You were in, in state Yeah, fashion. the pen. Yeah. Damn. Not jail. Jail. Jail is like, different. That's look, that's this is what I was going to say earlier is like, everyone's like stressed. Everyone's like, oh, either the hates the homeless or, you know, like they're, or they're ever sad that there's homeless, but I've been to the homeless factory, buddy, is jail. Yeah. Like it's That's like right. the, this, the, they call it the prison industrial. No, no, the jail industrial complex. Yes. You go in there, you don't have a job. You don't have nothing like in, in the jail. You just sit there yes. like a Costco tub of milk or you know what I mean? Yeah, you just true. sit there all day You're long. Warehoused. You don't do anything. Mm -hmm. You're just, you, all you do is commiserate with other dummies yeah. who got stuck in there. And then, you know, you, you get kicked out and now you got nothing. Like now they, they, any, any, any money out. that you had was spent on lawyers and Bail, whatever. Yeah. If you had any money, you know what I mean? Uh, and then they, what are they, all, that whole community of lawyers and judges and they're balling out yeah. driving the hottest cars and you know what of i mean course. and then the the sport yeah, the poor guy yeah bondsman you know i guess you guys already know about this mm -hmm. but well, it's my, like my friend's it, a prison guard yeah uh, upstate and, yeah, them and, they make like a hundred i've seen guys make 160 grand a year right. sitting on his yeah. ass all day Damn. don't even have to shoot a gas grenade at anybody right, right. you know what i mean well, and so, also state pens i didn't realize how much is it available to you like the commissary you got everything you need phone calls yeah it, and then it, there's, there's a, a lot. no but there's like a bunch of company walking horse there's like a bunch of companies that make boatloads of money off your family buying you clothes yep. and yeah you know what i mean you get to have a certain Jesus. so it's a weird it's thing big like business we're yeah it's a weird we're, business we're consumerist society even in prison how like, is the food terrible oh my god as bad as they say it is can you, you want me to food? flip that chair over while <laughs> you're sitting there <laughs> Take it easy. is it that bad me about this it's, it's that, that bad? bad i mean look 
they do their best, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Because it's other inmates making it. Yeah. So I yeah. can't talk smack on Did, on did the, you meet any like good buddies who you still talk to in prison? Because I always hear about guys mm -hmm. making friends or you just want to be done with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, well, I mean, no, uh, of course. Yeah. You know, I answered a phone for Global Telling, you know, if the guys will call me. Uh, my, I, I was a cellmate with a guy who sold the Hells Angel all their speed in the 90s. He'd been down for like 30 years, 30, yeah. he's trying, you know, and he got convicted on like, uh, somebody said that he did it. Yes. It was not like, there's no evidence of it, but this guy had, you know, it's one of those things where if you're a successful drug dealer and they can't get you on selling drugs, yeah, they're going to they're get gonna you gonna jam you up on yeah. something else. So it's best to stay away from this type of uh, industry. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I talked to him. I talked to Dino. Yeah. He, he's, a. Uh, you know, I I, Cause I I imagine there's like a special bond because you only when yeah when he knows doing, what you were going through. You guys can relate to it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really yeah. It's an interesting thing. You know, I I you know I did that short that little skid bid compared to a lot a lot of yeah. guys get jammed up and I you know I thank God that I didn't make so like too big a mistake where I had to like him. He's you know he's down for life. You know, oh. it's like and, and he get to see the parole board, but they're like. <laughs> Not yeah exactly yeah so yeah. how's that guy stay positive you know like he does he wake yeah. up yeah, he doesn't he's the meanest scariest old man that you've ever seen in your life yeah. and that was my cellmate that would make for, sense though <laughs> yeah that makes it like you're not going to be the most cheerful dude when you're no. in there a life it's a torturous life you probably life, get yeah. some guys that are kind of zen who are in there or no not a lot no I, he was pretty zen yeah but like violent maniac zen yeah you know like because that's just the life that you have to live it sucks and you know when, when you, and it should be I, it should be a deterrent i think that i i'm trying to tell people about this to deter them from falling into that life oh no yeah it yeah sound because pleasant. because you know it's you don't think about it when you're <laughs> when you're out there gallivanting and doing all kinds of crazy stuff you don't think about man there's some real there could be some real repercussions yeah. for me, you know, getting drunk, getting in a bar fight. Yeah. You know, me, I, you know, I, I, I seen it's terrible, terrible things. And just now, th this months and months later. You seen terrible you're saying? Or? Prison, yeah. Really? Oh, my goodness. Stabbings and all that? Riot, someone got an ear cut off. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Yeah, like, oh, man. And, and like, were you terrible, scared? Bro. Were you scared? I, I don't know. Nah. You scared? I wasn't scared because, you know, I, I got the things and, yeah, like, I know. I know but you know, yeah, there's some nervous like <laughs> yeah, pay, attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay on the get stabbed in the throat. You don't want to get stabbed up, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. fisticuffs one thing, but getting stabbed is. <laughs> I, I mean, know. Here's yeah. the good thing, man. Like, if when you and you're doing it, but at the end of this road, like the end of your movie, you have so many tales to tell. But and, and I you have written a book like three times, and in the middle of each writing, it's something else crazy happens and I go down a different path and I'm like, all right, well, that, yeah. throw that book well, away. Like, there's a brand new one. Hey, yeah. you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Gonna no, no. Yeah. yeah. Nah. See, I like that. I, for the first time, the only reason I came on this show was because I feel confident that I'm going in this new direction. Before I was like, yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Like, uh, uh. but now that I'm like, kick that right. and like, oh, and seen enough and gained enough life experience to go, okay, well, like, I don't want to live like this anymore. No, you grew and up. I feel good. You grew up. You, grew you know up. what I'm saying? That, I know, but that, that, I that makes me mad, though, because... You still it, look good, thanks. but you no, grew no, the no, fuck up. No, it makes me mad that uh, I couldn't have done it earlier, but it's, That's everyone, not your story, works, on bud. It's everyone not your story. works on their own timeline. 100%. Yeah, and everyone works on their own It's not your story. Mind. It's just not your story. Yeah. And part of what you you have to look forward to is that the, sh the insanity you went through, including jail is going to color, it's going to be part of your very colorful story, part mm -hmm. of who you are as a very colorful character. And, and I, I, would, I would offer that you are going to have a lot of, a lot of wisdom? wisdom to impart to younger, crazier motherfuckers. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, right? Me too. All right. How old are you like now? Through your I'll do my best. Through your entertaining stories. 40 something. You're 40 what? I'm three. 43. All right. Young. You look you look great. Oh well, yeah, I've been warehoused at Costco <laughs> for a good long time. I know. Yeah. yeah. But you do, you look great. Do you Thanks, do you how, how much do you keep up with the UFC currently? Buddy, I know. I, I realized after I agreed to that there was a fight on and I missed it. So I know oh, no, you don't have Mexico, to worry about that, right? Yeah. There's UFC Mexico, but I'm saying like I missed do you do it. like oh, are, you, yeah. are you familiar with I'm the stars like back. Sugar Sean, Sean yeah, Strickland? Yeah. yeah like yeah. we see Sugar Sean 
knowing like the days that all the crazy shit you did yeah you know you had you Listen, know, i know I, it's weird because i predicted all this and now that i was right i was like oh dude okay. you were the you were the a lot I of know. it you were the catalyst <laughs> and then when the kid, if the kids look back on it it's like you no know, mayhem was doing this for a hot second yeah. like talking the referees putting up the peace sign he's choking know, a dude out all this is mayhem i know in japan over 20 over, years ago bring up him bring up yeah. mayhem over Jason 20 years Mandor, ago bud. over sakuraba praying over sakuraba. so when people are like oh you can you believe khabib it was hitting that guy and talking to the refs i'm like I are you think yeah. that's new I know, I know. mayhem did this 20 years no, but ago. it's cool though but like I, I don't you know the the new um Look at him! Look at him talking. That's the funny. dyed hair. <laughs> all that. Had a yeah. lot of funny ones. Yeah. Dude, that that guy. He was such a character. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's cool. Like, um, I I think you know. Look at him. But I was building upon stuff that I had seen too. You know what I mean? Ganky pseudo and all. For guys. sure. I'm just saying, like, like um, you're like as far as the American yeah. version, what the kids are doing now. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's I cool. Love it. I, it's I a like tip of the that hat. I was right. Like I was like, oh, okay, I knew how things were gonna kind of develop, like it, in my mind, and to like get you know to see it happening is like oh okay well damn i'm yeah. on to something like you Thank were a God, huge yeah. star back then imagine if you're just starting now doing I, yeah. those shenanigans with different. instagram i know he's i, know. I mean i know it's like uh they, have, this, they have a saying in spanish somebody told me it was uh something about um you're 10 years too early yeah something like this. yeah but it's fine it like uh, i, I like how uh, it's cool it's cool now to like kind of be fitting into this new world like especially from my perspective where i basically like you guys got to fill me in on everything i don't I know what it. is going I on i, I just it. like i feel like uh you, you know with ufc and everything i'm so like when this gets I know, gone, I know, like I let me tell you about sean strickland and sean then i get to tell you about it he kept sending me stuff like yo sean strickland and i'm Thanks like oh man this guy is like my cousin for sure yeah. you know <laughs> he talks like me dude kinda, you two together yeah, know, know, on a fucking podcast would be really yeah it'd be really interesting yeah i mean because I don't agree with all his politics stuff, to be honest. Like I, I don't. But I respect that he has this uh, platform and he's doing like he's a, doing his thing. He's doing what he wants. That that's to me is dope, man. Yeah, like, me too. That's badass. Yeah, like uh, they sound a lot alike now. That I think about it. No, I know. Him and Sean. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, he said it has a Dude, they get kicked off YouTube so fast. This is so fast. Who is? Me? <laughs> you? No, you and Strickland you and together? We no. get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> you wild boys. You're not allowed to be racist on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> it's frowned upon no that's too bad that's wild man yeah isn't that crazy all it's, the yeah. shit it, like if he was now like massive yeah. i thought that you were in a big star oh but i'm talking God. massive oh yeah God. no because it's and a the whole different, different era now now it's like as soon as somebody says some crazy junk it is like immediately in everybody's i mean neural link is going to be in everyone's brain in a second oh, you yeah. know but then uh, think about just like imagine sugar sean makes more money not fighting oh patty really? pimlet makes more money not fighting he got a only fans yeah <laughs> Oh what? But he done, he's not showing wiener. He's doing you know like training and doing that other stuff. I'm not. But he's big on no Twitch. Wiener. He's big on Twitch. The endorsement deals. Like Twitch. You, yeah. He play video games yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I know. That's badass. I know, brother. Oh it my goodness, badass. man. What, That's but great. The whole point of all this, like, there's a seat at the table for you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. There's a seat at the table for you to take advantage of and eat. He's a guy. He's a guy to really talk to about about ideas for real. You, you, you know business he knows business all right and he's creative and he'll well obviously oh, what the hell is this place yeah. oh my god dude this you got you got you i'm really impressed like Thanks, I, I, you know and he's so humble about it but i'm like holy what the man you burn this place down i don't know if the insurance is going to cover it <laughs> it's yeah good listen, point man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should you should really talk to him Cause, all right because there's there's a whole world for you and there's there's a whole world waiting for you are you throwing me off the podcast right now no <laughs> okay good <laughs> no fuck no okay i didn't want to get cooked man how'd that, you get, that was how'd my you get only here? goal how'd you get here i drove all right Ma, oh what i, I don't you know, know. Uber me out of here? no i was gonna say man oh, okay yeah i don't want you to oh no nah. we got thought, you wait you thought i took a rowboat no nah, i don't know dude oh, now right. you come from your you're when i came out. over here from the hood i was like oh my goodness what the hell am i in right now i didn't you see that gated community yeah. you don't live there do you no oh, no my that's god like, that's, that's the first place i think gonna the kardashians get, live that's oh man that's where we go when the revolution begins that's real money 
Yeah, they got the horses. Revolution. You ride their horses to the school there, all kinds of shit. Get out of here. I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm going to go to a horse, horse crossing. crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. badass. I've, I've been into that community a couple of times, and the houses there are. They probably got like. I'm there every week. They probably right. have like sensory turrets and stuff. Like, it's wild. Guard that it's place. wild. Yeah. It's like uh, black ops security. Stupid. The Navy oh, the SEALs jump nuts. out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 Oh, and man. they have security get in, and then everyone has their own private security. The celebrity meter is thick. That's not where you want to go during the revolution. It's well. Uh, nah, weaponized. They can't well, stop weaponized. all of us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Storm the Capitol, baby. It's big, too. It's much bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's it big property. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get us off on a car. No, 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 no. I'm thinking. What, so, what are your goals? Do you have any goals specifically? I, I'm going to sell some Manuka honey at right. samumanuka.com. Yeah. Yeah. Slash really? mayhem. Really? Yeah, like a whole thing. Oh, sick. Yeah. I love Manuka. Manuka, Manuka honey. I oh, I didn't even, I didn't know nothing about it. All my buddies. Manuka honey. Samu Manuka, man. It's a uh, uh, S A M. This shit's got, it's got magical properties to <laughs> it. That's what I'm saying. For it's real. my favorite. Yeah. You guys got a sponsor for, I can hook you up with the guys. Love it. Uh, love uh, it. It's I like love a weird, that I didn't know what it was it's from until they told me it's like some Zealand? magical yeah. honey that has antibiotics properties. They're basically yeah. the Kardashians of the bees that make this honey. It's like oh, fancy yeah, yeah. bees. No, yeah. I thought the Kardashians were, the only reason I even thought of it was because I thought the Kardashians were taking it or rubbing on their big asses or something. They no. might. Oh, they might. Okay. They what, might. What, is it from, uh, you're in the, what do you mean you're in the business? Well, okay. like, you know, I have, I have a, a partnership with these guys. And we're just starting out. I think if you put slash mayhem, it, it's you like has some, off I get some for dope. Yeah, I, I hook you guys up. So I know you guys are big on uh 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 what is the word sponsorship? Yes. <laughs> so I thought I would uh, plug plug the manuka. Manuka when I got Samu A S A M U. Oh, and now that I think about manuka it, manuka honey's good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think you could rub it on your ringworm, makes it go away. I don't know. These it, were not. These statements just are not it. evaluated by it. the but FDA. But it does have. It does have anti. Uh, um, antibiotics. And it all problems. comes from New Zealand, I think. Right? Buddy, I don't New know. Bees? Hey, listen to me. Yeah. I don't know how you can't just <laughs> kidnap some bees from New Zealand, right? I know. Right? Maybe we can no, get Izzy they, to smuggle them the, back in no, a you short... Need, you need the flora in that, that, that lives in... But you know most right, of the... You know why don't we the, make the flora, bro? I know. Let's run. do this. You can't have a New Zealand hey, farm. I'm have saying. You, have you know that most of the, the bee, the honey, like, you know, like in the, the bear honey, yeah. the, that's not real honey. That's not from bees. What? Oh, there's a whole... Bear it's, honey? It, dude, it's... Bears make honey? It, the, the, no. Well, there's a bear bottle. It's like the... It's, it's like the clear, What do you mean? It, I think it's wasps not actual make honey. honey, right? Damn. Or is it bees? No, only bees. Okay, well, so here's my uh, plan, right? We all take those, uh, you know, the flora. The New Zealand said? ones? New Zealand flora, right? The, the we all smuggle life, them the plant back. Life. We get through customs, okay? We, we, we get, go to one of those weed uh, grows, and we put all the plants in the... You know, and then have the honeybees do their thing and bingo, bango, American Go manuka. up to that chin. American, there it is. Look at this. Like down. American Wagyu. B, look at this. I don't know how much. So look out invest. for products that are not labeled simply honey. Whoa. The FDA indicates that a product that includes any added sweeteners or sugar cannot be labeled as honey. For example, a honey product with added corn syrup should be labeled as honey blend. Yep. But if you go up to what was your last thing, honey is the third most faked food in the world. What? A honey laundering scheme, which helped the companies avoid 180 million in shipping duties, hit the Damn. honey's true origin, leaving few to suspect that it wasn't real. It was the biggest incident of food fraud in the U.S. history. Wow. More than seven years later, a lot of our honey is still fake. What the fuck? Yeah, that's why, that's why I buy that weird honey from New Zealand. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 100% legit honey, right? It was uncut honey. Uncut. There's, you just, want, there's you honey, want honey you can get in the States called really raw honey in a jar, and it's thick and yellow, and it's They didn't think too long on the name, huh? Yeah, I really, mean, it's called really raw honey right there. That shit have been- Oh, yeah, that one's years. good. That and it's, it's like a wax on yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. But it is it Manuka. Now, Manuka's a killer. Manuka's killer. Honey's kind of a miracle. How do you, how do you guys know about this? So, you know, know. To me, I like I barely knew anything no, it's, about it's it. A, it's a miracle. Is that Manuka? I was like, we know a little a bit joke. about so it. Do you know how honey's made? In other words, do you know? Bee throw up. But yes. it comes off a bee's ass, no? Bee I throw up. They throw it up. They throw it up. <laughs> that's hotter sure somehow. That's the case. Yeah. Some people are into that. Works. It's bee throw up. Isn't that though. crazy? Isn't that weird? Yeah, man. No, I'm I'm into that. So, wait. So what are they? What are they doing? Shaking their butts on the flowers, though. How, uh, does, pollination. how do they get it? Pollination. I know that, but how do they get the in there to vomit? You know, know what? You guys are Talk to terrible God, science inspectors. 
They got hair on there. Uh, oh, there we go. This guy is really getting involved. That's what I love about this guy. No, honey, it's Man, not I saw people. some of the show. No, it's not. This fake guy news. is an invaluable fake member fake of your it's team, bro. You guys Bucks. need to pay this guy extra right now. Yeah, dude. He's just me suddenly me giving extra. us. My God, bro. Honey is made That's from nectar by reducing about. the moisture content after it's carried back to the hive. While bees store the nectar inside their honey stomachs. Not the nectar's vomited. not vomited or well, pooped I out before get it out there, because not technically, at least. No, no. I oh, technically. <laughs> okay. Listen, bud. <laughs> if we vomit. put some uh, pollen in your mouth, right, and you just carry it over and then spit it into the jar, you didn't vomit it. That's you true. You did like a little... But it was stomach. inside their body. A little swap. It was in their bodies. Uh, Mayhem, have you seen this uh, beer knuckle fighting? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Are you that's into a it? Damn, uh, amazing. I'm into it. I, I, it's a little bit... It's interesting. This was like, my argument um, with it. So Rogan and Eddie Bravo for the longest were like MMA in its purest form should be bare knuckle and have no ring restrictions. Mm. They just got to fight like a regular fight. Mm. I said he can't because the optics, the way it looks. Also, guys don't want to break their hands or so you can have a different kind of vibe. Fast forward eight years later since mm -hmm. that conversation. Now I'm the commentator for Game Bread Bare Knuckle. Fit. So Saturday I, I commentate. Belcher's fighting. Yeah. Dos Santos or Alan Belcher. Oh my God. Alan Bel have you seen Alan Belcher, Belcher lately? He I got Belcher on Alan. Have you seen years. Belcher lately? No. Yeah, but a beast. Yeah. Jack. I know. He hasn't fought he guy. Just, no, he just beat Roy Nelson. Oh, he did? Yeah. Wow. Bare Knuckle. Roy Nelson's fighting Bare Knuckle too. Bare Knuckle. Oh my no. goodness. And, and, dude, and JDS just beat Verdum to get the title shot. He just beat your boy Verdum. Split no decision. Way. And bare knuckle boxing. Bare knuckle. Bare knuckle MMA. I didn't. Oh, MMA. MMA. So this is rapper. MMA. This is MMA. Thank you for telling me because yeah. I thought it was just boxing. Well, I think it's it definitely like, changes wild, things. Right? I think it definitely changes. I feel like it's something you would have been into. Yeah, but like, um, it's pretty interesting. Like, uh, I, these guys making some good money. God. Bless America. Like Belcher. <laughs> Belcher is freaking jacked right now. Oh, my God. What Looks a monster. Good, right? Hey, wait. Where are they fighting there? Is this out in, in Orlando? Of Orlando, Florida. Of course, it's Florida. Kia Center. Uh, man, they should fight with the alligator moat. You know what I'm saying? That'd be sick. Anyway, but like, yeah. so it's full. It's MMA. MMA. But what, they have that the tape around their No. Fist, they, they, so I think some tape their wrist, but in general, it's just straight up. Just bare there. That makes sense. But you to get me. a lot of cuts. You, you get more hand. cuts. Guys are a little more tentative. I think people thought you'd see hard. more knockouts. What is the but guys are a little tentative. Rules like, like what well, you know, same me, as MMA. It's so if the, it's obstructing your vision, then then yeah. they'll stop it. Yep. But otherwise, it's no yep. big yeah, deal. It's just like I don't know. Huh. But you were saying, like I thought that was interesting. You're like, I told yeah. you from day well, one. The yeah. big thing with grappling is just, to not be able to to hold on to the guy's glove. Yeah, but if you're if you're having a three round fight and you're using your hands and you're hitting guys on the top of their head, you're gonna break something. And that's what you were saying. You're like, guys are way more tentative. They're way more tentative. Loading up. You're, you're not like, opening up with all you're your shots. Touching, yeah. yeah. You're a little more tentative. Yeah. And and, and that, turning. That, that's, what, that's why Mike Perry's such a savage at it, because he just has this special, unique warrior skills. We can take punches, exchange better than anybody. His technique might not be flawless, but when it comes to bare knuckle, he's the best. You don't need, you're not using jabs and check hooks. You're just coming in going, one, two, ah, da, da. Not yeah, a lot of setups. I, I, would, no. I would think that the guy who... Um, Oh, okay. Without it's just different. Like boxing mind. is so much about your jab and working everything off a jab, and you're. I, I would think that yeah, a guy who puts up numbers would be more successful at this bare knuckle because you know it's just a a touch, a nice little touch. Yeah. Can end the so, night if so, you get them yeah. cut cut real good on, on the top. You, of have you ever seen uh, Chin Google Jason Knight bare knuckle? Yeah, yeah I don't know if you guys you ever do, seen I don't this know, dude's I don't know face. You, yeah, I don't know if you guys did this, but like. If you watch the British, the old British guys, they would practice. Even as they kids, would they would practice. This. Yes, they'd catch your shots yeah. off hit, the hit. top I did of their that, yeah. Bop, hand, bop, yeah. yeah. And then you know, do that with, with no, look at that. Do that oh. with no gloves on. Fuck, man. Oh, what Savage. a delightfully handsome man. Yeah. Savage. It's just not good. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Insanity. So this is our future uh, is to the, look the like this ugly, huh? No, thanks. Yeah. They're I, all I get blocked, too. I like how it's That's all blocked like it's not safe for work porn. That's oh Jesus Christ! A little lip surgery there. No, I don't like it. That's bad for you. You know, I don't. I'm gonna talk to Elon Musk about getting a metal face before I go do that sport. No Wolverine style. Don't, yeah, don't hell yeah. Adamantium. There's, there's a lane that? for it though. So there's lane for this. And then how do you feel about now? I mean, I'm, hopefully someone. So you know, Jake Paul, Logan Paul are fighting. Jake Paul definitely carrying it more than his brother. Who is this? Jake Paul, the YouTuber. Yeah. He was a massive YouTuber. He was a Disney kid. Now he's transitioning to boxing. I and, know this guy. Yeah, he beat up Woodley, he beat up Ben Askren. Didn't he hang a guy in Japan or something? That's Logan probably, Paul no, found a guy. Him, he found a guy. Oh, he didn't hang yeah. him? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't hang him? No. That was his brother, though. But now Jake Paul is doing like, 
I mean, as legit as he can, like he's fighting real boxers, you know? He's such a handsome gentleman. He really is. Good looking guy. Logan, yeah. Mm, Wait, who's the more handsome? Logan. Jake's the better boxer. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, look, maybe we have different types. I think <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. So, anyway, what but are we talking about but these boys for? You guys could be brothers. I was just saying, if, yeah, if, if, are you, are you sure, familiar yeah. with, like, like I was saying, there's different lanes since you've been finding that popped up. You got I know, yeah. Knuckle, the influence you got influence boxing. boxing. I know this is a thing. Yeah. I forgot it was the Paul How do you feel brothers, about though? it with the influence boxing? But do you think? This is the way that things are going. You know yeah. what I mean? You can be a boxing snob. Yeah. And I'm telling you, like, <laughs> you want to watch people fight who have a compelling story and that you know. Yes. Boom. This guy That's has it. a bunch of guys, That's a it. bunch of people that know That's him. That's what people don't understand. That's it. Oh, do they like him? Are they interested? Do they want to see him it's win? It's like more compelling. You know, if you, if you, you know, if you ask a normal guy on the street, hey, you want to watch your neighbor fight somebody or this superstar who's awesome at boxing you've never heard of you've never heard of Neighbor. don't know who he is Neighbor. and nobody around you is saying anything you know if you don't have this marketing you a know connection. because like you guys are been in the sport a long time so you know all the cool guys and yeah. who's the badass and there's some guys that you know they're for every conor mcgregor there's like uh you know a boatload of tough ass brazilians who say three words yeah you know what i mean but they're never gonna and get like, a title shot yeah you know and that's true yeah uh, we get but, Bilal Muhammad. but sometimes but there's some guys that just you know uh, that are the uh the casual yep and and this guy has taken casual to the next level to extreme yeah. like casual is he's taking his fan base normal. and done that yeah you know because if you put them in the regular boxing ranks be tough you know it'll be a very yeah, uh, yeah tough road to hoe but he made his own road yes you know and i i kind of i kind of was like bitter against this um at the outset but i'm like hey bud like all the fight sports are like this the the reason you got the big opportunities was because you made the fans love you correct you know through your performances and also through marketing Social so media. my space yeah you know a million years ago you know talking smack like saying hey let's do this monkey colt forever and you know i i, I if i didn't have those people the monkey colt like coalesce around me 20 years ago i would have never got all the big opportunities are, are those, you know is that monkey colt stuff still around yeah it's, of course part, it yeah. never dies i get people never screaming dies. out of my face every once in a while still and for a long time i like disappeared from that because you know like you like yeah. we were talking about earlier where you know you don't you're you oh, get away i lost this yeah. fight i blew my knee out yeah. i don't i hate fighting now i don't care about this and then do you get back into the gym and you see the young guys and it brings you back up and then you get some weird fan scream oh, or in jail one time monkey go forever <laughs> and i was like oh what? in jail, oh, yeah, in jail. Really? <laughs> yeah some like smoked Damn. out black dude looked like felipe Esparza <laughs> screamed out of my face uh oh through the door through the door and it like <laughs> stuck with me i was like oh wow i did something yeah i need to do something in with jail this in could you future. talk to, as a white dude as a wood or whatever they call you mm. were you able to talk to other races yeah, no that jail was different <laughs> prison i mean prison it right. sucked i couldn't be friends black guys you openly I, I could i worked you know uh, when i worked at the gym uh, my best buddy was a, a black guy like excellent athlete like nc double to a uh 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 basketball star Damn. just jacked dude that we would work out every day and this guy uh got in a road rage incident some dude jumped out and he just think and like killed him damn uh, i know he did your so, life for a no no he got manslaughter so it was like a bunch of years that he just Eesh. yeah exactly but you know what i mean like that instructive to me like whoa like yes. god, god was showing me like hey yeah. bud you get in on the fight and there you go that's right yeah that you know you, you lose 12 yeah. years of your life so yeah. you know <clears throat> um but like it was weird because at work we we're right next to each other we will grapple in the back like we were doing we were fighting each other all the time that's and stuff crazy. it was fun but like out in the yard he's over there i'm over here you like you don't that's know. the worst part of prison it's the worst part of prison is that you you can't be yourself <coughs> you have to be this weird yeah racist version of yourself weird. and and the the cops like it's been like that for so long that it's an institution like it's yeah. like that's the okay way. you have to and then the mexican guys all hang out the mexican guy and it, you know you get these like slivers of humanity but when you're all alone you know what i mean you 
play cards or whatever or like chat with each other and then but when your team shows up you gotta you gotta, you gotta be yeah. back on your team you can't share food with the blacks it's like terrible so weird. it's like takes your humanity away that's a yeah. it takes your humanity Tribal. away yeah it, it sucks stuff. it really sucks and you know and even that extended too because like i said i went to rich guy rehab it was like yeah i went to poor guy rehab and that tribalism reared his ugly head yeah. again oh interesting yeah even because, in rehab yeah because dudes were coming out of jail and uh, prison so they're and still going to rehab so you know what happened? Guy, guys were ankle monitors on yeah. like guy, it was like a weird so i did this thing with these uh a bunch of these black uh athletes yeah and when the cameras were not on they were so fucking cool and we were laughing and having a great time the minute the cameras came on they just you're white devil they would not want they didn't they would not <laughs> fuck with me that's and another I was like, thing damn you guys are like it's like they were just like they had to represent or something i know I, I get it like i i understand as bummer. much as i can Sucked. as like a white guy you know i i understand i told him if i was black i would probably hate white people like because they would represent they would represent this larger thing I mean, maybe that, but, no i'm talking yeah. about in this current sure. climate the way things are going and the way uh, everybody is like sliced down the half i don't look at it like that right like i i, I can see why uh white people are pushing back against the woke thing yes i get it uh, it's like offending your sensibilities yeah so people i get it i get it. and i also get why black people are pushing back because we're hyper propagandized yes, right we now. Are. Like, yes, like we are. you're, I don't even really look at Facebook, but I get that everybody looks at Facebook and everybody is like, um, you know, that, that echo chamber thing, yeah. the beating to their yeah. drum and everybody is all marching Virtual towards yeah. this yeah. election. Like we're some kind of enemies, all you need, all you but need. I look at it way different. Yeah. Like we were talking about like the Amazon and uh, those Disney, those few companies that dude, I'm looking at it. It's us versus the, rich people correct and it's like that's how it is yeah like it's uh, the elite you, you want to hear you want to hear us and then like and, and we're none of you are elite right. none of you right. because it's only like such a small a tiny group. zuckerberg you know what i mean and yeah. and uh, did and, anybody and talk Elon to him do you want to really you wanna wanna hear, get you in his ear stat? for a you, i think you know i love you this bud. is all you gotta you know change the world this, this is all you gotta know as far as the stats concerned i think you know this 2019 right before the george floyd riots how many unarmed black men were, kill, were killed by police in 2019 in the United States? Was it four? It was 12. And that, that's, that's astonishing if you think about the- Have you looked up how many white million, men were killed? A lot more. If you look at the, how many, the 10 million arrests at least, that is incredible police work. Mm -hmm. that's, that's astronomical. And they, they made them villains for Correct. It. And so that's what I mean by the, so when you see a revolution, when you see this progressive ideology take hold, my issue is it's not, it's not built on facts. It's not true. No, but, but then they, they gaslight it. And they go, right. look, we have a real problem over here. Yes. But look at this. Again. So race relations, this again. Once, once in 2013, social media started becoming a thing with everybody. Race relations w were people, first of all, race relations have never been better in a lot of ways, but people started thinking that race relationships are at an all time high, even historically, because it's highlighted by social media and you see it's promoted by stories. the algorithms. Yes. And if yes. you look for that stuff, then you're going to see right. more of that stuff. Right. But everybody knows that what the news is saying versus what you see in real life is fucking different. Now, if I was just a little more crazy, my Twitter feed, bro, you want to storm the Capitol. Yeah. You're like, oh, we're screwed. Yes. The white man's screwed. If you watch it, you're like, holy shit, man. Or we already did that. We're as good as people, you know, but what happened? I don't buy it. No, I'm saying I don't buy it. I, I just think that the media is, paid. you get clicks by creating, creating energy. We're back to that again. Yeah. Huh? We're back to that. But yeah. it, it also takes a special person to go, okay, this isn't, yeah. this isn't reality. This is just, they're trying to gaslight me. This the only reason that I have this perspective is that I've been disconnected where they didn't have very good Wi-Fi. Yeah, man. You know, so no always stepping into this new. So, thing. I, like, I, I, everybody, to me, has gone buck ass fucking crazy. Like, I look at everything like, oh wow, you guys really have gotten more tribal than yeah. uh, than you were yeah. two years ago. How, how long you been out? Like, I don't know, four or five months. Yeah, four months. I don't know. Yeah, so but it's, like, it's been crazy. It's you yeah, crazy. it's a whole. Di I know. I mi I missed the whole, uh, the whole era. Like yeah. I missed this whole, missed I missed the, the, the this, uh, yeah, this, yeah. um, transition. Did you, wear, did you have to wear masks in jail? During yeah. The, <laughs> what? Oh, no. All the time? <laughs> Buddy. Even no. in the Buddy. yard? Even in the yard? No. no. Oh, okay. No, but like we're still, uh, 
Nah, nobody did it. No. Nah. Like, how are they going to enforce that? Yeah, who's going to enforce A bunch of psychos, that? like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the cops, like, bunch uh, of wear hell's a mask. Angels. Put the your mask on. The cops didn't even care. The cops didn't even Bitch, care. Bitch, I'm in there for life. I <laughs> wish I could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but hey, the guy who's in life, the older guy, uh, my celly, he, he wore a mask. You are like all the time. I was like, what are you doing? It's really? Time, you don't want this real quick? Every time quicker? he left, every time he left, he's like, nah, I ain't fucking around. He's <laughs> like, don't you didn't want to get that die. funk. You don't yeah. get sick. No, listen, they locked down the downstairs one time over uh, the building I was in. Okay. The, the guys were writing a bunch of, um, you know, getting on paper, they call it, like against the cops in there. So they just locked them down for like a COVID lockdown for months until somebody died and then they let them out. Damn. I know it was a nightmare. I was like, "Really? They just locked you guys down?" And then the day that some, because like a ambulance just showed up on the yard, I'm looking out the little slit window. I'm like, "Oh man, an ambulance!" And I'm like, yeah, man. I, man, the guy had a funny name too, like Chappy or something. Chappy died. I'm like, "What? Oh, that sucks." Like, yeah, but now we're off a <laughs> we're off a quarantine. I'm like, everyone's happy, but. Yeah, yeah, I died. But damn, Chappie had But uh, what recourse yeah. do you have? That, who are you going to tell? Right. Go ahead and write your letters. Yeah, Let right. me know what Go ahead and write do. another letter. Go ahead and write a letter. lock you down yeah, for yeah. two more months. Yeah, brother. Oh, man, what a um, nightmare. Wait, we were hard. talking about racism, and this is Black History Month, so I think you guys should pay <laughs> no, tribute over. to that. No, it's not. What are you talking it's about? It's almost it's March 1st. <laughs> it's March, almost. almost. It's almost so, March 1st. But this is a leap day. you got damn right. Yeah. He's got a point. Happy Black History Month, everybody. You damn right. Happy, uh, look, I'm your favorite black white guy, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, people try to call me racist. I was like, Nah, I'm nah, a ghetto, but I've never not seen racist. racist. I know. Yeah, but I, it's a, like a weird. Uh, uh, it's weird. I'm, I'm mad at the internet. I'm mad at the you internet for getting us against each other when we're like. This is all designed, brother. It's, it's all designed. Design. Yeah. Uh, it's all designed. What do you mean by who? Lizard they, people? Because then we're not Don't focused, be getting on we're me not with focused this on, Bravo no, shit. No, it's not. We're uh. not focused on the real issues. We're fighting each other when there's real issues going on. I know. Yeah. So yeah. so we're, we're distracted with this nonsense. Pronouns, all this bullshit. Yeah, but- None of it's real. I, but I'm, I'm of the opinion that let they- Call they whatever they want. Most people are. Most people. Ninety nine point nine percent. But the the online. But not on my Twitter. On my Twitter, everybody's fired up. It's not real. It's not real. Like uh, blaming the the little they for getting killed by her classmates. Uh, you don't even know how much of that is that outrage. Russian bots fostered by bots because they want us fighting. They want it. They want. Oh, that. they're winning. They're winning. Yeah. They're, yeah, oh man, pushing. I saw the movie with Julia Roberts that was exactly this. Where they like foster all the anger? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they did that, with, they did that with all kinds of stuff. Like they, they that, it, there's there are agents in different countries, foreign agents that do this kind of stuff. But when you have they, sheep um, who get on, they're like, oh my I god, mean, this is terrible. Well, but no, but don't you know? I, you can't call them sheep because there are brothers, sisters, mothers, and even us. Yeah. Like I don't think anybody is. The only reason I was immune was because I was in a box. Yeah. And like uh, you know what I mean, my cell phone was smuggled in someone's ass. So it, it wasn't the best quality uh, yeah. iPhone. That's hard. <laughs> yeah. Cell phone in your exactly. ass. Exactly. Difficult. So, Who's so, that person? so I didn't Especially get to a be a part bear. of the That's internet. And now that I'm yeah, now that I'm here, <laughs> now that I'm here, I'm like really witnessing that even me, I, I see my I'm addicted to that thing. I like I'm yeah. like even now oh you're my, right when you got like, out. No, now like, now that I'm here on the on the internet for real, it's like because uh, I love a dopamine hit, the big dude. thing. The big thing is is that I've read a boatload of books because I was stuck where you, you couldn't. Did? What'd you read? You couldn't. My, all of Oliver Sacks collection. You know who this yes, is? Yes, I do. Yeah, this guy is expert, yes, and I'll I be very happy to take any book recommendations. That's really cool. To, just to Oliver get Sacks me is off the of the he, shit. He was also a power lifter. I, he did have the body for it, yeah. but I didn't know that. Yes. That's interesting. He, was, he did uh, have the body. Oh this my god! Really How badass would it have been to see uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson versus Oliver Sacks in their prime? Yes, Oliver yeah. Sacks was fucking a gay uh, uh, guy. He got really, really strong. Yeah, yeah. And then he uh, studied those baboons forever. Did you yeah. read the one about baboons? Mm -hmm. Oh my Is goodness! Good? This guy, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Did you read any Alan Watts? Yeah, but this guy, uh, I could hear his Jamie, voice. He was yeah, he's jacked, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's jacked as fuck. Uh, well, up. duh. He was gay. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, What's wrong with yeah, you guys? Yeah. Well, you don't got kids or nothing Look to worry right about. There. You just Look get him right there. That's jacked all the time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Jesus that Christ. Him. That's not real. No, no I think mean, it's a Photoshop. This guy was real, injecting dude. baboon sperm in yeah, his butt. That, that ain't real. Something. This guy is so jacked. That's not real, that's not, bro. That's Arnold freaking Schwarzenegger. When he was older. Yeah, that's Arnold's body. Yeah, come on, bud. I know that package anywhere. No, that's not Arnold's body, I promise. That's not him, Brian. You want to bet? 
I promise you that's not no. him. That's no, definitely Photoshop. That's right. AI. Come on, bud. Oh, that is, yeah, so that's a uh, mid journey so, right there. He got there. really thick as he got older. They too. got you, though. The internet got you. <laughs> no, that's got, the problem. You're very 50. thick. No, pictures of him very thick lifting. You. Not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thick. Oh but I think God. he got on the old sauce when he was I'm old. sure. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? He's a scientist. I agree. I want. That's what I want AI to do. AI's, I want AI to come up with me to get me more muscular and, and more hair. Dude, ask chat GPT. They could do it. Seriously. Wait, you know, why don't you just go to Turkey if you need more hair? That's what I, I always I, tell him. Oh, you know what Cowboy did that. Cow this cowboy guy did that. is smart, bro. Like, I cowboy, just, cowboy did that, and he has a full set of hair. I know. Oh my I just God. don't know if I, I just don't have the energy. <laughs> Dude, I've been taking minoxidil and just putting on my downstairs, so I got that 70. Yeah. Oh, 70 yeah. yeah, yeah. But then I shave it off. Dude, I got, I'm taking minoxidil now. I'm putting on my hair. Does it help? I don't know. It takes a long I time. I think it's it's doing it. It's doing the it yeah. You're good, bro. Don't stress about it. Yeah. No, you got this. Uh, what do you got? <laughs> I, I did it so <laughs> oh, positive ass. I you love this, this guy. Though. Oh yeah, my I, god, I had you a got this. With my buddy Chris, to see you get to a hundred pull ups faster. Yeah, I'm so fucking sore, and it's two days later. That's the problem with being 57. You get you do not you don't recover. recover as fast. You don't. It drives me fucking nuts. You get more. I got to warm up. You be sore about you. Anyone does a hundred pull. Man, you guys got a boatload of nugenics in the thing, man. You should chop those up like and snort them or something. Legit point. Chop it up. Legit. Yeah. Yeah. Take some I nugenics. Forgot, I forgot to take my creatine today. Your creatine? Right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Old school. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to get see, some current events for us, Jen. Pop. Yeah, we got a couple. Yeah. I got nothing. Uh, yeah. This episode of the Fire and Kid is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Let's face it. Sometimes multitasking can be overwhelming. Like when your favorite podcast is playing, the person next to you is yapping your ear off, your car fans blasting, all while you're trying to find the perfect parking spot. All good, because sometimes multitasking is easy, like quoting with Progressive Insurance. Tell them about it, B. Look, they do the hard work of comparing rates so you can find a great rate that works best for you. And even as, even if it's not with them, they will they will they will do that work. So, you know, you can compare stuff. 28 million, 28 million drivers use Progressive. So think about that. They've been in the game a long time, and 28 million people can't be. That's a lot of customers who seem It's so freaking easy. Yeah. All you need to do is visit Progressive website to get a quote. With all the coverages you want, like comprehensive, Personal injury collision, protection, everything. All yeah. Yep. You'll see the progressive direct rate and their tool will provide options from other companies all lined up and ready to compare. So it's simple to choose the rate that works for you. Press play on comparing auto rates. Quote at progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust progressive. That's progressive insurance progressive casualty insurance company affiliates comparison rates not available in all states or situations prices vary based on how you buy progressive when you look at my hair you think to yourself not thank god it's not me and that's probably because i don't really cut my hair i just run a razor over it but if you have good hair like yours and you want a good haircut and you don't want to spend i don't know a hundred dollars a haircut yeah, if, super cuts. Listen, if Father Time's not your barber like Brian Callen, you want a legit haircut, all right, you got to go to super cuts, all right? They got yeah. you guys covered. They delivered more than 23 million cuts in 2023. An lot. average review lot. is 4.88 out of five stars. Damn. Head over to supercuts.com today or walk right in for a real smart haircut, mm. all right? For a real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit supercuts.com to find this, the salon there. The salon. The saloon. The yeah. saloon. The salon. I'm going to be honest. The only thing I have on right now that's true classic is my underwear. But you know what? That's on like you. You're usually, I call it the Brian Callen starter pack. Dude, I'm true classic. Always, oh, I'm wait, oh, wait. Dude, no, wait. Yep. Well, you don't no, have I that didn't. on. I had, I had my true classic. Dude, true on. classic. I got the match in. I got the sweatshirt, the crew net sweatshirt. I got sweats, joggers. That's my new fit now. You can see in multiple did, colors. Did you try the button down? Yes. The button down is lit. awesome. It's great. It, it, it feels so good because it's got stretchy so material and it actually hugs to your body. All that, the shirts. That's the one button down I could wear on stage because you can move around in it and it, stay, and it keeps yeah, it If shape. you just want a one-stop shop for whatever, you think they're just t-shirts, they make the best shirts on the planet. Casual that's why we sweaters. use them for all our merch. They got sweaters. They got joggers. They Armor got crew neck sweatshirts. They got hoodies. Yeah. They got varsity jackets. Pretty much everything you jackets. Need. And literally everything. You, I'm need. telling you, it's a one-stop shop to look legit. Yeah. Comfortable, but it's not affordable. That's what's no, crazy. it's dope. It's, it's truly affordable. Price yep. type, uh, the it's price the perfect right. freaking fit. So if you're ready to upgrade your closet shop right now, 
with this link, trueclassic.com slash fighter. You get 25% off your first order. Try it out. Tell me it's not the most lit clothes you've ever got. Yeah. They got all sorts of colors. Again, not just t-shirts. We got dope hoodies, yep. joggers, sweatshirts, you can jackets. You comfortable and good. The best t-shirts, the long cuts the like I like, the regular no cuts. They got everything. The no matter how yeah. you move, make your 2024 your most comfortable year yet with True Classic. Once again, that's trueclassic.com slash fighter and save up to 25% off your first order you'll be amazed at how much you can get for so little and the stuff is as good as it gets quality wise i'm talking about we got a segment current events which just oh yeah. hell yeah let's do it okay the first one is cam newton yep. he's a coach this? for this yes <laughs> underage why does he always have issues like you tell he, me he's a good dude he runs these camps he had one camp kid talking shit to him I know. some some like eight year olds talking shit to me as but i was nfl mvp 11 the kids seasons. like yeah 10 years ago he's like does it matter, yeah. dude? Why this does is, he get so much? I shit? don't know. I don't this, know. This thing is called C one. The worst part is it's a fifteen and under league. So these are kids, and he got into a heated argument with the team his team was playing against, and had a straight out brawl with a fifteen year old. No, with the other coach. Look, people don't realize how big. So Cam's an inch taller than me, and probably two forty lean. I've been around this dude. Sad. Super athlete. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> yeah. Heisman. So Still number one picking that up. Why are you wearing the Wicked Witch of the West hat, though? Yeah, you exactly. like that hat, don't you? I don't understand. He's, he's a fashion guy. Well, that makes you a target right there, Andre 3000. Oh, Andre 3 million? Look at oh him. Oh, my God. Look at him. Beast. Though. But it is ridiculous that people fuck with him. Listen, bud. He's not people the one to fuck, fuck with people with. all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't. I don't get why he always has these issues, though. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Either. People always want to test him. I don't get it. They well, look, him, dude. When you're helping out in the hood, uh, sometimes you run into hood people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. And, and, Jealousy too. And, hey, keep, He's crushing it. Some and people uh, uh, keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. I, I gotta. I gotta take the hats off. Uh, no pun intended. He didn't take his hat off. <laughs> for, for the. He didn't even lose his hat. That's what's impressive. That's if impressive. I was gonna get in a brawl with him, I would have snatched off Bro, that. Uh, that's a good point. He didn't lose his hat. Yeah, how impressive. That, was that wicked. This is like bully beatdown, though. He nah, whipped I mean, that look, dude's ass. Yeah. Here's the thing: is that you, you find civilians, it's like a different. You know, I remember that some guy. Try to beat me up at 7 Eleven. I just snatched, I like snatched him by his hair to the ground, <laughs> just threw him on the ground, and then he's like, ah. And I was like, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> and just walked off. Yeah. I just snatched him right to his knees. Like, he's like, we're pulling hair now. I'm like, yeah, it's a street fight. Yeah. Now get out of here. You just get snapped him here. down. Yeah. I just gave him a head snap. Yeah. You know, I never even, oh man. I bet he went back home. I, I, but he was I'll like, be, what happened? He's like, I just. Yeah, I'll be honest, when, when, when Dove David off, I, I will. I have one confession. When Dove tried to single leg me, and I put him in a whizzer, and and he couldn't move, and and then he goes, Jason, what would you do when I put you when I put you in a whizzer and you grab my leg? I did think I was going to be able to. <laughs> I swear to God, this I is I why Bully Beatdown was created. I did it's think, so, after all these years. I know, but, but I was so a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, but you do be honest though. though. I thought my you wizard, though. my wizard would be like you know, but I was. I was just funny in here because I, I weigh you by and like I played a million basketball pounds. in high school. I'm not gonna be like I can't believe Magic Johnson blocked my shot. But in you're my like, mind, you I say thought, you're a wrestler and yeah. you're talking to guys like this. Of course, we of don't course. consider you a wrestler. Of course. So but when I, you go, I can't believe my no, no, wizard no, no. didn't work on the professional. Speak for me. He doesn't but speak for me. My wizard, my wizard. You're a wrestler. You've always been a wrestler, Harry. Fucking hey, you have my back. You're the only person <laughs> yeah, in the do. world. I'm trying, bro. But, like, but <laughs> I thought for a second that I'd be able to kind of keep you at bay. And then you mm. ended up, you, what you did is you took the whole checkerboard and picked it up. Like you picked me up. You <laughs> well, picked me up in the air. It's weird. It's like you got paid to do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a little that's weird. That's what's like you're a smart dude. But it was in front that's of my wife. I was like, and I was like, and my legs curled under my little toes curled under. Oh, you had me in the air. I was like, what? Ah! And then Doug went, ah! And we were like, oh, geez. And then you let me down. So, like Brian would ask me to get just some random dude goes, like, you know, a thick guy, be like, how do you think you do against him in a fight? I'm like, pretty good, I think. Does I, he fight? He's like, no. I'm like, well, I like, not well. well dude. I would test you a little bit. I would like to test him sometimes. Poke the old bear. Yeah. Get in there. We'd be at, he'd be taking a nap though. I'd get in a judo. I'd sit out, fucking deep oh headlock, or head and arm. Oh, the, I mean, I mean, like the kids this. Look, coming out of retirement. Grip, look yeah. at my gable grip, fucking head down like that, and he'd go hee hee hee. And then <laughs> he fuck me up. No, man. Oh, that shit doesn't work on him. So some of these are from last week because we didn't get to cover them. But um, so do you know the porn star Cagney Lynn Carter? <laughs> no, Who but doesn't? I'd like to. <laughs> Who okay, no, but she it, passed away. She, she oh, killed man. herself, and it's a super oh. sad story. But I mean, she did it with a shotgun. Do you remember her? Man, 
She's got some. Uh, she's pretty, man. Bravery. She's very pretty. Yeah. She, but like, she ain't pretty no more. Man. <laughs> yeah. Unless so you're into ketchup. The way oh. she took her life was with a shotgun in the mouth. Well, and, that's th- and this pretty, came uh, out of nowhere too. Like she posted pictures uh, a few days before of her. Well, the statistically, beach. most suicides are uh, not like this long, drawn out. Like I'm depressed. I'm depressed. They just it's do it a, in the moment. It's a yeah. momentary, it's you know, impulse. decision yeah. impulse. So like, remember that that it. Don't, that feeling will pass if wow. you just get past it. Man, you know? that's so that's tragic. True, right? nah, yeah. Talk more about that. Well, yeah, she's so that pretty. It, the thing is, is that super pretty. Making this impulse moment. decision, especially I, you know, I don't know if she was drinking or drugs or whatever. There's but, no sound, uh, no sign of foul play, no drugs. What wow. do you mean foul play? I like mean, it's pretty foul to put a shotgun in. Your I mean, mouth. she did it herself. If someone oh. else did it, the, but I mean, as far as they know, uh, who knows if the toxicology reports come in later? But for now, there's no signs of drugs. Well, or, yeah, it's just. Is that, I mean, that's pretty uh, that's bummer, number. but thanks for bumming me out a lot. No, no, no. no I I I you got any other breaking news for us? How oh, that, when no, was she that, big that, in the early 2000s? She was, dude, I watched. I don't remember her. I watched many of videos of her. She was like super. Yeah, hold on. Let me look. Wait, this guy's, he watched many videos. I like but that. She's familiar with her work. She's beautiful. I can get, I get yeah, it. Yeah, she was very pretty. I get it. Let me see. Let me make sure. I, I'm pretty sure gorgeous. you guys have seen her video. Great oh, face. Boy. I have never seen this lady, but I, I'm sad that I'm she not took herself out. That's such a bummer. I, I don't understand. You know, you can't understand what someone's going through yeah, when, yeah. Then, when they no, I mean, yeah. do that. But it's never really a good idea. Yeah. Like, um, I, it, they always have those reports of people jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge and surviving. Yeah. And they always regret say, it. They regret I regret it. it. Oh, yeah. As Every soon as I was in the I air. Yeah. Shouldn't have jumped. Well, there's a guy who lit himself on fire in front of the... Uh, Israeli yeah. embassy. And that this is the breaking news that I like. I just saw this this morning, and I, I get it. I you know, it. he he really believes in his cause, and that self emoliation has been like. I mean, that's a badass. Set himself on fire. Did he die? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, did he die? Yeah, he died. And the greatest thing was the cops like pointing their guns at him. I mean, I get it. He had two firearms. Whoa! He live streamed his protest in Washington. Fire in front of the embassy. Arms. Damn. Active duty airman, too. Wow. Well, he might have been. Uh, U.S. Air Force. Wow. But he wasn't even Arabic. Right? He was <laughs> no, but. Aaron. He believed Bush in this. Now, you know? 25. Well, because it, it really seems like um, our government has taken the side of the Israelis. And it's very interesting that we're doing that. He I, might. I he, this guy sounds like he was a little bit like, again, th- th- this is different because he. His 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 descriptions of what he thinks is actually going on there were very extreme. So I don't know how how sound. Wait, but what going. what's extreme about it? I I don't know what happened because like well, he says, "Oh no!" The last no, I heard, no there's like thirty thousand people civilians dead. That's a lot of uh, civilians to lot. kill. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I mean, they're saying the word genocide. I don't know what really... Genocide is not, uh, I, I would argue with that word, but... But like, okay, if I, uh, what neighborhood are we in right now? You're in uh, Agora, like Agora Cal- Hills. Okay, Cal- so if I just like <laughs> raised Agora Hills, right? You'd, and uh, you'd say that I was like genocide in these people no, no. i don't know I, it's, I, a little, I, it's a little different i don't even I know mean, what opinion to have i'm not saying you shouldn't be your heart shouldn't go out to gazans and the the innocent palestinians palestinians that's thing the word to yeah. talk about but i just think this is this is this is very extreme for a guy who is in the united states so it's in uh, something's going on there right like when the buddhist monk did it in 1963 he was from v- vietnam he was protesting TM's pr- uh, treatment of the Buddhists. It was a very, he was also in a lotus stance. He didn't move. He just died. Well, it this was, goes you know. with the theme that we're talking about. Yeah. That the internet is like, mm. you know, uh, the type of guy who goes to serve his country, uh, it takes a special man. I, I always, I, my, one of my biggest regrets is that, you know, I chose a, a life of glory to go and fight professionally instead of go join the army which was like my plan all through high school like i was gonna oh really yeah but my dad was like training me for it but like a few little the internet Mm. the internet changed me off of it because not only did it give me a community of we called it no holds barred back then nhb you know uh not only did it give me that community to hype me up to be like oh i can do this i can i'm already good at fighting let me try this it also showed my dad who was a long like 20 year army vet it showed him that war is kind of a racket 
and mm. we're doing the work of the rich corporations. Mm. You know, he went to Iraq part one and saw Weapons what they were doing and, and it that. kind of yeah. messed them up. Like what to realize the, what was he in the army? The third of five oh fifth, uh, he was a <laughs> uh, uh, tank killer. Like they yeah. you drive this big gun yeah. uh, behind a Humvee and you look at a map and shoot it over the hill and obliterate everything and then drive through what you just did. So it's like, you know, you have a, enough. Um, you see it. You see it after you, you know. And yeah. so it, it really kind of screwed him up. Yeah. And uh, he'll, he'll admit it, you know. He'll, he'll admit that that So he was in the Army for 20 up. years. Yeah. So he, he raised you with a, maybe? Lot, a lot of discipline? Listen, like, I, <laughs> I set up a caper when I was 15 to, like, steal some plywood uh, to, to build a skateboard ramp and got caught. Because the stoner that was driving the car turned the cop turned the lights on the the cops yeah. like they were driving by we almost got away with it but we didn't and my dad busted my ass into Miller boot camp I woke up at five thirty and did PT Damn. and like I know and ran like <laughs> like ran my like twelve miles with oh. him with him and this guy was like Damn. forty years old something like Gangster. just running me into the dirt like make me screaming in my face you know the full on army experience at, at home in suburbia wow Jesus. so yeah and, and your so, mom your mom was in the picture I mean my mom went to work and was like like shaking her head like I can't but, together? And, but yeah no <laughs> I mean that's a, a whole nother story they they got divorced like. Pfft way late like when i was 30 something like oh really i know yeah like there's so many weird stories you guys are spinning me off of but the the same that same summer um that i mean the next year after that, i took the ass fab and i scored off the freaking charts they were sent telling me um you could get a job uh hundred twenty thousand dollars a year i didn't even know if that was a lot i'm like is that a lot uh, that, you know i was just like some skateboard kid and the, you could be in the uh nuclear submarine program and that that same summer my uncle died of like radiation poison like leukemia from working on Jeez. on wow. the nuclear submarine the so it's just these all these little coincidences said, stopped me yeah, from yeah, serving in, in a, and i really respect the military i'm involved with this program called mvp it's um uh emerging veterans and pros so it's pro athletes mm -hmm. ex-pro athletes and um, veterans and veterans wow. and then so oh, we have cool. and it's like a bit it's a really man it, it's one of the strongest like now uh, that i've been out and i've been through rehab and been you know uh, it's one of my strongest uh, support systems these guys they're all veterans i really respect them and they're doing really good work for people that need help because you know it's kind of like being a fighter you once you get out of the army i mean at least they have they had, they can go to the VA. Right. We don't got nothing like that. No, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. got no pension. Nothing. So it's like, uh, um, it really uh, it, it gives me a chance to help the guys um, that I wanted to be like for right. so many. I mean, when I was like five, my dad was like giving me a stick and like teach me how to you know dig a foxhole and like i i thought like that was like such a big part of my life that i didn't even think about college because i'm going to the army i'm going to the army Dang. i'm going to the army and then that summer 15 16 Switch. i was like i'm gonna fight did he yeah. love watching you get really famous and good at fighting? yeah yeah i mean look he he told me you're a damn dumbass go to computer school and i was like no i'm gonna fight he's like Pfft nobody gives a shit about that go to computer school yeah. and i was like no nah, even nah. today you'd be like then, son, be like what you're gonna fight? i know and then well you know he he tried his hand at boxing it was a pretty tough boxer but then he oh, went he and sparred with a he sparred with a guy who just smashed him yeah. and he was like enough was that guy man. went to the olympics later yeah, yeah. so he thing. but he didn't understand that yeah. he didn't understand that there's levels and yeah. if you haven't been doing it since you're a little kid different yeah. that it's yeah. much different i watched that yeah. happen to my friend he was gonna take some he was gonna start taking fights because he played it's like a little bit of pro hockey he was big and really rugged and he got in with just some guy but this just some guy had had a, a lot while. of experience and he got really fucked Tuned up. up. You know, I mean, but they were both really big. But Jesus, well, he gets in there with six foot five black guy. 
Oh. And he just went, chat, 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 chat. And I was like, oh, no. His head was just going, whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> See, and, and that's what I try to avoid, though, because, I, you know, I coach the kids at, at, at some different gyms. And some guys I, I coach from, oh, man, little kids. Mm. I coach from little kids all the way up to, like, pro fighters. And <laughs> when they're younger, you don't, you want this guy to, like, maybe have a challenge but not to get smashed out yeah, of the you gym. Don't get hurt. No, no. Yeah, you don't, you know, you, you, don't kill, you, his you kill his confidence yeah. too early. But Make then as try. they get some confidence, then you need to get him smashed a little bit. When he's already hooked on fighting, yeah. you got to get him smashed because those guys get cocky. If you keep sparring him against like a, a guys that he can beat up, then he never. You know, Eddie, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Who's the famous Teddy Atlas was talking about that? Teddy Atlas said he would always like he'd bring his young guys, his young fighters, and he'd be like, "I need to see this other guy hit mitts because they'd be like, oh, how much experience does your guy have?" And when you pair him up, a lot of guys would be like, "Nah, he doesn't have much." Meanwhile, he's had thirty fights. My guy's had three fights. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, dude. Like, let, let me see him hit mitts. Let me see. Let me see him move around before I put my at. guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they bring you up slowly so you don't get, you know. Yeah. And that's 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 the way it should be done. I feel, do you think that the UFC is doing more of that now? Are they taking UFC doing more of that now? Yeah, they've learned their lesson. They've learned their lessons. They should just burn throw out. guys to the Wolverines, and now they kind of yeah because they're ruining stars. You know, they yes. destroy the guys' confidence. They never bounce back. They're doing better now. Sugar Sean, they did better. Yep. Patty Pimlet, they're doing better yep. with. Yeah, those guys are big stars, huh? I, I saw yeah. I yeah, saw them you, before I went away, been, and I was like, oh, these guys are awesome. Like, yeah. this is cool. And now I come back, and I keep seeing them in the feed, you know? Yeah, you I don't even follow you, them, you, but yeah, they're, right. they're, they're ubiquitous. That yeah, time, that time that you, <laughs> you, you're like in Jake Shield's face. He's interviewing, and you just show up with your fucking red hair. You're like, ah, <laughs> like that, and things like that. And then you're like, what the fuck? And Bro, then I like single-handedly yeah, single handedly got uh, I love MMA kicked at off Fart? TV. At Strike Force? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. strike part you know, is funny. I think you and Nick are in a fight with Nate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. That, that was wild. Yeah, it was a crazy. Who'd you end up fighting with, Nick Diaz? You no, that Nick? night. Well, see, here's the thing: is I kind of get a lot of guff for that, hmm. but at the time, uh, it was Nashville. I, I they said, "Hey, uh, you know, because me and Jake uh, had a title fight, and uh, you know, I I lost it by like." slim margin he had taken me down at the end but i like you know almost got him in the second round and uh so they're gonna have a rematch so they told me yeah if uh if you um smash your guy in the fight then we'll, we'll have a rematch i text my manager and was like hey do i go in and ask for my uh rematch and he yeah. and he just texted me back yes yes I'll so i just you. jumped in there and went went, went for it and shield saw me and was like Hey, what you want your rematch? You know, and then that's you the result. The that, <laughs> that, the I, I fought the entire team. Yeah, you know, Look this is just an average Dude, Saturday night that. for me. Nick yeah. is just teased. I know he's ready. To, <laughs> did he, he get back to <laughs> No, no, I I shot a double leg and took down uh, his brother. Like I, the Nate, the Nate. trick is, yeah, the trick is when you're getting in a big brawl like this, you if Go you, the you're gonna get jumped, you need to grab onto yeah. somebody so that they can't really stomp yeah, you yeah. out. So that's Dude, what I, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that! It's just like fucking. They're that, all coming at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about I that. I mean, the, the yeah. brothers and Jake, they're gonna fight you right now. Yeah, that that's pretty badass. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, I, I got out of Great there, and my dad called me immediately and was like, and he was watching on CBS. He's like, "You're a Miller, ain't you? <laughs> that you're gonna fight everybody, huh?" I'm like, "Yeah, apparently." That's the plan. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that anything was, else, that was bizarre. Uh, let's just. Yeah, let's do. Come on, let's give us one more if someone not rapid dying. Fight. I know, no. rapid fight. Give us about, one more if someone not dying. Let's do uh, two really quick ones. All so right. this is just Machine Gun Kelly. I guess the newest trend right now is blackout tattoos. Damn. So he blacked out his entire. So you, upper you half of his black body. body not black face interesting but even cat von d did it as well because you know be you know way back in the days tattoos were like whoa that looks crazy but now everyone has tattoos so this guy just this is like uh, the newest thing this went the newest full thing. under armor damn he went uh he wait straight up blacked out his so this armor. guy is just like permanently in a gimp suit then the problem okay. is is yeah the problem is it's a fad right so in that's the newest thing it's the most shocking thing now you know I mean, some of them say, uh, her, like, Kat Bondi said she did it to cover up tattoos she no longer A lot of, left. yeah, the, the guys I know have, like, a half sleeve that's mm -hmm. all black. It's just to cover up, like. Let me see his old tattoos. That's how it starts. Yeah. That's, not, that's not a bad, bad look. 
I mean, I mean if you really want to go for it. He looks like if Aeon huge, Flux. If you're a huge Venom it's fan, a lot of work. I guess. It's a lot of work. Man. It is a lot of work, yeah. Cat lives that matter. That would take forever. Fuck, dude. Let me see and uh, it's him super before. Painful Let me too. see him before. Like, right there. Well, that's a lot of work, too. That's a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of business. Yeah, he just like uh, pretty bad. covered up a bunch of... Uh, yeah, the tattoos Larky. were not great in yeah. the first place. Wow. Yeah, I can... Uh, no, nah, that's cool. I see his... Uh, yeah, what is Kat this Von guy, D anyway? Yeah. He's an influencer, too? He's a singer... Musician, yeah, he's, he's a singer, rapper. He was, and but that's Cat Von D. I mean, I'm not mad at Cat's just cover. Yeah, uh, that looks pretty dope on Cat. It does. It <laughs> does. Man, that's yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah, it seems like a a lot of work you just you know did to like just cover it up. It would take forever. And like, what they have a tattoo gun that's like this wide yeah, and do. just like yeah, eh, yeah it has a just bunch paint. Of, yeah, yeah. Man, Latter Day Saint. That's wild. All right, so this is the last one. Apparently, this is in uh, Florida. It's just these cops. How they handle the situation oh, no. is crazy. And the the police dog actually bit the cop. No. Didn't get the uh, you know the person that was running away. I'll just show you. So it's played. Oh, you that. know what's funny is I, I have seen this video. You have, and I was thinking that they need to put the Benny Hill music. And they did. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess try and get away from the yep. cops. Yeah. So check it out. Just watch this entire thing. It's insane. Four stars. So this. Oh God! Now five stars. Look, look the police dog attacks the cop. <laughs> nice. Oh God! That's a little bit of that, a you know how bad hilarious that hurts? justice. You know how bad that yeah. hurts? Yeah, it's like God <laughs> damn it. Yeah. No, I was in the joint with guys who got bit up by the dog. Man, it's pretty horrific. Yeah, tore up. Oh yeah. yeah they they really, look. <laughs> they give you the business. The police car hits other, the other police oh. car. Oh, <laughs> guys. <laughs> nice. Guys. And then, and then just then reverse it. Almost, almost kills him over. Friend. And the. <laughs> It's that car. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Is that car? Hey, he Hell forgot yeah. To put it in. He forgot to put the car in. Or is the car still? Oh. oh. And look oh. at that. The, the semi just barely passed by. Oh, my Christ, God. Was that a cop that fell out? Yeah. No, that Guys. was the that was suspect. Everybody what? calm down. And watch. This is the, <laughs> this is the, assail, the criminal. Mean, look, you know what? A little more cardio. He look at the dog. Away. The police dog just runs next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dog. Like, just tackles him. Oh, jeez. He just gasped. What he would have got away. The dog. Yeah, he would have got, got away. Cardio, he he would have got away. Oh, if Mayhem man. trained that dog, that definitely <laughs> yeah. would have happened. Right? I was a Mayhem oh, trained man. dog. That's I would like not, to coach that, that dog. This is the last one. This is the last one. See our boy Chuck Mayhem. No, I didn't see this. He's just chilling, talking to two kids that aren't interested in the conversation. Falls off the boat. Watch this. Oh man, Chuck's Which all is, fired up. Chuck's like, yeah, whoa! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> <laughs> this dude just—he like, did a modern day dab on him right now. No he gave him a weird. Help I love that these two young kids don't know who he is. Like, hey, okay, hey, man, who that boat man. is this? I know it's a sick ass boat. I know, oh yeah, that oh. boat is from the future. They is didn't even boat? know he fell off. The boat. But it took like it took several minutes. They couldn't get him up. Oh my god! I mean, so look. I mean, dude. Well, Chuck, he might have been. He looks like he was probably had a couple of drinks. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Couple. Well, it's already been. Yeah, yeah that was, so it took forever, but they eventually got, got him back on the rescue boat. team to get Chuck out of the damn drink. Huh? <laughs> Those kids were like, "Yeah, All very right. cool, man. Have a good night." He's like, "Yeah, the thing." Oh! <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> The context, though, like, why is he on this super boat? You know, well, like, I young know. kids. And when, who are these? Yeah, these kids. They that probably weren't paid him to be there. It's in wow. San Diego, by the way. San Diego Bay, I think. Man, That's impressive. Uh, good for Chuck. Some dad up. was like, I got you the Iceman for your birthday. And they're like, who <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, who's the Iceman, <laughs> yeah. dad? Oh, man. That's incredible. Well, yeah. Mayhem, we love you, brother. Oh, God bless you You got to keep man. this train Great. going, brother. Don't let us down. Keep you got a lot of people rooting nah, for you. Going, yeah. dude. Yeah. I'm good. Louisville Comedy Club this weekend, Friday, Saturday. I'll see you there in Louisville. And Bricktown Comedy Club, March 15, 16 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Come Double get Bricktown. Some. Double Bricktown. Double Bricktown, baby. Then Bricktown in uh, April 26 and 27. Then Fire the Kid Live, our annual residency in Austin, goes down March 29th, 730. That's a Friday. One show only at 730 in Austin, Texas. Brian Callen and myself are back in Austin. Nice. This Saturday, I will, if you're around the Orlando area, I will be at the Game Bread Beer Knuckle World Championship fight between Junior Dos Santos and Alan Belcher. Come say what's up. So come check it out. Mayhem, we love you, brother. Has anybody told you guys you're really good at this? <laughs> We've been doing it a couple right. minutes. You're good at this. I'm glad Thanks, to see brother. you, brother. Thank you. I'm come ready. back there again, dude. Love, love you, man. You God bless.